Well, welcome once again to another it. Thursday night live show. There we go. <laughs> there you now have your, now you we're have your intro. We've got an intro now. We're saved. We're <laughs> we fine. We need that little gap there. We are fine. Little bumper. Uh, you are both looking excellent as always. Cheers. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cheers. Well, Cheers. that means we probably should open something. Let's do that. All right. This is what kind of ties into last week. Last week. That's uh, right. How did you find this? What is it? Tell me about it. I'm going to hit the button. Well, I found it by going to my neighborhood tap and bottle shop. They have this Which there? is a can shop. I was <laughs> listening. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, with the transition, more people going toward uh, cans. I was actually listening to the Trader Joe's podcast the other I day. I like a nice set of cans. And they had, and they, but where's your room shot? Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait. 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 I usually have, there it is. There, there we, we go. go. Just a little bit delay there. Yep. We can edit that out later when you put it up uh, live on for YouTube. <laughs> yeah. you'll, you'll take that big gap. Out I'm of not there. doing that much editing. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot <laughs> that's for that. A lot of work. Considering, yeah, people are like, hey, I tuned in on Thursday night. Why do I need to see that? Again? I don't need to see that again. Um, or they'll be like, Wait a minute, they changed something. Like we'll start getting notes about like, <laughs> yeah, I was watching the transition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What happened? These are a couple of handsome fellows, Zaku. You're too oh. kind. Your handsomeness goes right back to you as well. The um, yeah, it was, I listened to the Trader Joe's podcast. They had an episode on, on their beer section, which I listened to. And they were talking about bottle shop, but how, how many people are actually changing to cans now. So mm. do you have to, will, will it be a can? Will it ever be a can shop? Probably not. I, I don't think know. bottle shop just sounds better. I, as long as there are at least a few bottles in there, it, tap it and can. <laughs> tap and can. Tap that can. What? <laughs> tap that can. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he hates these cans. You know, someone could, uh, you know, perhaps buy a shirt that says that on there. If oh, they that's would right. Like, there you go. There you go. That's R. Johnson. That's something in the first quarter here, we need to come up with at least one new shirt. New shirt. <laughs> new shirt. Make a note. All right. So this is, uh, this is Big Henry Hazy IPA. Yes. This is from uh, Holla Daily Brewing Company. We right. had something uh, from them last week. We, we did our gluten-free podcast. Fat at, Randy's IPA. Yeah. That went up uh, just today. From the previous Thursday, that show went up. Like I said, that little uh, snippet uh, of a give it a shot went up, uh, as well as we'll have one next week uh, from that show. Um, but yeah, depending on where you watched, you may have seen it live or, or whatnot. But yeah, it's, it is uh, from them. We were doing gluten-free and gluten-reduced. Uh, unfortunately, two out of the three were just gluten reduced. Right. I mistakenly <clears throat> thought we had gluten free on another one, but we didn't. So this was uh, from them was the only true one that was gluten free. Right. And that's all they do. Right. Correct. Yeah. Because uh, due to I think uh, maybe maybe of the owners, I don't know that the, the information's at their website. But yeah, they uh, they have no gluten ingredients in their facility whatsoever. So they are 100 percent, 100 percent gluten free. It does the same thing. It starts out like uh, like you would think from a normal yeah, from a non-gluten free beer. Yeah, and then it just it has that weird finish that it's not bad. It's just you kind of have to. I would think you're. I think I'm getting less of that this time. Yes, and yes. maybe I'm just ready for it. And that, and I I would bet if this is all you could drink, you probably get to a point where you don't even feel that or sense that anymore. I'm guessing. But the other one, remember last week we thought it was hazy. Also, this is much lighter in color. This yeah. almost looks like the. Um, like the stone from last week. It's just, it, yeah, it's, it does. It's yeah. It's, it's kind of got a, it's a lighter hazy. Yeah. It's actually pretty. Oh, you can do cool little green screen things in there though. Cause it shows through me. Look at that. Mm. Creepy. Um, Oh wait, will that work here too? See your eye. Not quite as interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I get less of like this base. It, it does similar. Th I think the flavor is actually pretty good. In this, I like this one better. Like this one I would pr pretty much drink. Um, the, I would have drank the last one too. That sounded weird. That's not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> This one I would you choose it, this one over. You've yes, you've handed me both of the. You've shown me two cans. <laughs> I take the show left me one. your gluten free cans. <laughs> show me your gluten free cans, and I will tell you which one I like. Um, this one, yeah, I like better. Like I said, it still has kind of the nice bitter finish, which I like. There's a little fruit. The tart is a little bit less, and then there's kind of like a nice little. Uh, dare I say, uh, little tingly on the front of the tongue. There's a little like a. Uh, Along with that initial tang, there's like a, a, a liveliness and acidity. Like there's something that's almost like acidity that comes back forward on the, on the tip of my tongue. Silent acidity? Yeah, exactly. It's oh, that wait, song it's by Queensryche, isn't it? That's right. Silent acidity. No, but it's not right. silent. Silent lucidity. Yes. Yeah. Lucid dreams. So is that our new shirt then? Show me your gluten-free cans? Show me your gluten-free cans. <laughs> They're going to wonder what kind of podcast we have. You, what kind you of show? Into, well, you can walk into your bottle shop. And say, show me your gluten-free cans. Show me your cans. Show me your cans. And they could show a little six-pack next to it. Like, I mean, we, if we yeah. want to go kind of like racy, maybe yeah. that'd be yeah. funny. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. We'll work out. They could have one this can all... on each side. Show me your cans oh, in the middle. <laughs> can inside our logo right yeah, here. That'd be Who likes this idea? Who likes it? <laughs> Ladies, what do you think? 
<laughs> oh, man. Just as about beverages was about to hit the big time. <laughs> they, they went completely they worked so hard. They went so completely long. off the rails. <laughs> <And> their one <laughs> really terrible idea took them down really quickly. Yeah, I, I, that's good. I, I, I think I actually liked last week's better, but I'd want to try them side by side. But I, I like this. It's once again, it is a beer. But until you get to that second half, mm-hmm. you don't realize that that it's that there's anything. Yeah. different about it and but this is cool like i'd be it. very interested they also that have a stout good. which yes. i would really like to try because yeah. i bet you can i'm gonna guess you can hide a lot of things in there like so i think in my mind that should taste like a good stout if they make a good stout that's what it should because you'd roast because now you're talking about roasted grains mm-hmm. so they're and, you're, and you can so still have are altered right dark and chocolate of the of those millet malts that they're using right. they have a buckwheat malt like so i think that's going to lend itself. Okay. Uh, like I said, with that and there, it looks like, let's see, are they using anything else in there? No. Hop bill blend of it. A blend of hops, including Willamette. 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 I don't know. I hate saying Willamette. I think Willamette, it's Willamette. I know, and I hate saying it that way. Damn it. I hate to say Willamette. I do too. Um, but yeah, like I said, no, I, I think this is, this is good. These are like the omission I didn't like at all, and that one was just reduced. Right. I'm fine with saying that. Um, the we've had I know we've had another one which I we went back and looked at when we were talking about the delicious IPA. We talked about it that Dogfish does one where it's like the honey. Oh yeah. And and we commented on how we thought that one was good. It was very different and very weird. Right. But that it was gluten free and uh, and that one was pretty good. And I know we've had another one that we really disliked as well that was very gluten-free. early on. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. we were like, ooh, that's so. Yeah. Yeah. This is not an easy thing to do. And as close as they're getting, I hats off to them i yeah. think this is really like again if yeah if this was if this i is, had celiac disease or had an issue i would be happy with either one of these and i'd probably choose this one this as is now. three something a can three thirty three forty something like that for, for 12 ounce, a 12 ounce can i, I so within the range of other regular style it's not like you know you're yeah. paying like a huge tax yeah. for i know you went and watched it that night and i watched it the next day it was I did. fun going back and watching the stone delicious podcast from 2015 Yes. It must have been right after the U of A was eliminated from. Yeah, because we mentioned that, that at the beginning. I was wearing my U of A shirt, but it was so weird. The, the Sublime and Self Righteous came up in that. Yep. About it being discontinued. Yeah. And, and now it's back. Yeah. You weren't the person who went in on Saturday and cleared them out, were you? No. Okay. I haven't bought any more. I've wanted to. Did I, went in, clear them out? I went in Saturday. At, they open at noon. I think I was there at like 1.15. And I asked them if they, no, somebody just came up in a little bit ago and cleared us out. Did you ask? They're getting more, right? I did. I should have asked that. Okay. What I almost asked later is I should have said, was his name Andrew? <laughs> please, please tell me his name was Andrew. Did, he, did they mention a podcast? Did he mention a podcast? We'd like to sell yeah. some space. So <laughs> now she did not volunteer information about more coming in, okay. but I also did not ask. So I okay. was too disheartened at that moment. <laughs> I didn't ask and he didn't say. He did not say. That's yeah. right. No. So anyway, but that's a uh, classic. But yeah, no, I think that, I think this is, is very good. Like I, um, I think that's definitely a, a podcast, like I said, that, uh, you know, it's not going to catch fire right away, but I think that's one that'll have a good long tail as people start doing that, uh, that talk of things. What was missing? Everything uh, but the girl. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, or what could you not get? What couldn't you get? Oh, the sublimely self-righteous. <laughs> you went in on Saturday and someone just before. Yeah. Well, you... they, yeah, she said earlier today and I was like, I said, I said, we guys just opened at 12, right? I didn't say that. It was like 115 if yeah. it was 115. So, so yeah. Yes. Oh, did it, maybe Jay cleared them out. Aha. From North? Wait, did you? No did way. Did you really do that? Did you actually go to Tap and Bottle North, North? and buy all the Sublime Self-Righteous? Because that's going to be amazing if that, this well, is true. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. You couldn't leave one for me? You couldn't leave one. You fucker. Well, hopefully this Thanksgiving, uh, we'll have a gathering. Bring one over on Thanksgiving. No. Oh, downtown. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. No, right. this was at North then. <laughs> Be great if he said, I went to both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. They were already sold out. Yeah. Okay. Those are, like I said, the two I had were good. Well, should we see if they have any back in stock? We can check literally right now. Check right now as we speak. Downtown. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that. I like that. His buttocks are sublime. That's all I ever think of when I think of sublime myself right just now. His buttocks are sublime. <laughs> He's very lithe. Uh, what do we got? 
Tombstone bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout. Ooh, tell me more. Pueblo Vita Quest. Okay. Oh, Tombstone Rye IPA. Wow. Ooh, okay. That one's always good. The Rye IPA. Equilibrium. Sorry, we're doing the usual thing. Uh, oh, wait. We got multiple pages here. Had no interest in the Grand Crew. Oh, whoops. Wow, a lot of Tombstone stuff is sold. Tombstone stuff sells out fast. They got a bunch of new stuff in from Drecker. I don't know if anybody uh I did see yeah, I did anything see the, from there. The the Drecker. They still had more of the Colombian necktie from Nightmare. Oh, did you get one of those? I did not, and the reason Oh, is that's right. You didn't like it. No, I've never tried it, but oh. it's aged on mangoes and uh Pocket is allergic to mangoes. I didn't know that. Yeah, this happened uh, her favorite uh uh nut is pistachio. And allergic to those and uh, mangoes. This wow. all happened within like the last five or ten years. So wow, yeah. So I, if it had, even if it well, not even, like how allergic? I mean, let's go on. Like no, allergic enough. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I know. So anyway, so brains. Oh, the brains are so good. Yeah. I know. Cans, cans, cans. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, those are those are really good. Yeah. There was they have like four or five things in from Drecker. Like I try and. Tap bottle is usually pretty good about like, I think they know people really like those. So that usually goes up on Instagram. Right. And as soon as I see them put up one of those, I usually think to get some stuff. I actually probably should buy a few things this weekend. I have some stuff. I bought a, I bought two more of those cause I had a gift card. I bought two more cans from bottle logic of the, uh, of the mint condition that I had on my birthday. Oh uh, yeah. Celebration. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, like I said that I did here on, uh, like I said on Twitch when I was playing the game, the medium, uh, and man, that beer is good. I, I, yes, you even cursed in your tweet. I was so happy. I was We're, so you happy. Deleted that. immediately. No, I'm just no yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I grabbed a couple of their IPAs too. Ooh, not, yeah, I, I like their Drecker's IPAs are great as well. They're definitely very hazy, yep. uh, but they've been very delicious. I don't know if I've either seen or if they have had anything in the stout realm, but I would definitely like to try something uh, from that at some point. I would like. I would love to try. Uh, something on the darker side from them. I don't know if they do that. But so yeah. Light and hazy. Should we, act, you know, I was just thinking, like, so we've got two other podcasts. Uh, did you try that Nordic one? I don't think I did then. If they did something that was a stout, I have not tried it. And that was either because they were out of it or I just, accident. Because like I said, usually, if, especially if it's something completely new that I haven't had, I usually try and get one. Little, do you think, little oh, fruit, little little pine in there too? Do you get a little resiny or just get fruit? Fruit, please. Mostly fruit. There is a little bit of something savory at the end, but I would say mostly fruit, like kind of orange and like peach kind of thing. It's not quite as light as like passion fruit or like guava or anything like that. It's more like orange, peach kind of. It's a little more, a little more juicy. Yeah, I like the, I like the aroma on that. And this could just be the way they, like, this, this is what's always hard to tell. Like, I don't know if it's just what, I don't think it has anything to do with the uh, base malts and what they do with the, you know, like, this is just probably how they hop their beers or whatever. They don't seem right. quite as, uh, you know, bold, like, you know, as some of the hazies that we have, they don't seem yeah. quite as like, uh, you know, Ooh, does that have a date on? bursting, but um, Whisper Scream Nordic IPA. Oh, Nordic IPA. No, I have not. I, no, I don't think I've had that one. We are, whisper we scream are, is that are. does that one actually have like classical lack? works <laughs> is it from a whisper to a scream oh whisper to a scream not right. just whisper okay oh i don't want to get in trouble by singing it does that scream mean like for some reason that makes me think like that they have lactose or vanilla in there i don't know why because it seems like they would do some sort of play on that it's actually cream as their scream whisper um, scream. i don't see no nothing on the bottom okay. oh wait here we go can 12.9 Okay, so just two months. Yeah, can say that's, but even with two little, two months age on it, I mean, a month ago that was probably had even a little bit more. To yeah, it, but but it's. Good. I was just wondering if there was like good. if that's just like how they make them, or if, yeah. yeah, if there is something that causes them not to kind of. But again, I like it. I've been enjoying so much Pueblo Vita stuff lately. Like it's crazy. Like that, that Plexus is good. I started uh, Super yeah. Bowl Sunday out with that myself. That was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did I? What were the ones that I had? Did we, was that the first one that I had? I think you said, uh, I think you mentioned that because I remember thinking uh, the same thing. Let's see. Oh, top rated. Recent activity. Elder Pine. Oh, Jason, R, whoever that person is. It's an R though. Yes. Um, where do I find my beers? I click here, recent activity, beer history. 
Nope, there's the one. Oh, yeah. What did you say? Keith put out some very controversial comments that he had to get rid of. Oh, it didn't show it there. Oh, if I click there, then will it show it? Seven and a half percent does not a double make. Not a lot of hop notes, probably showing some age. Okay, but not worth the price. Oh, that was a little harsh at the end. That, that was. was that was pretty cold. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably good. I thought I did. Whisper that to out. a scream, there we go. Sc- yes, whisper Scan- to a scream. Scandinavian farmhouse yeast. Okay. Whisper on a scream doesn't mean a thing. Are these lyrics? I don't know about that. But I know whisper to a scream is all right. So that was Keith's we, cruelty oh, that he laid down the yeah, other day. I, did, I thought I took the price part out. Oh well. Uh, yes, there are lyrics. Weird, is that? Is this the only one I did the other? I got. I could have sworn I did both of these. Calliope. Wow, I thought I did the first one too. Maybe I talked about it previously. Yeah, the Calliope IPA from Pueblo Vita Brewing. Um, good balance of coconut, toasted coconut, and pineapple. Was not expecting this flavor combo, and I love it. Glad I have this can all to myself. <laughs> Uh, that was a good one. I confess I drank the uh, the pint Deftones Phantom Bride IPA you left at my house. Oh, I think Joe brought that over. Then that was that was probably good you drank that one, though. That's a good one. I have ordered beer to be delivered to my place of residence and what a world we live in. Maverick, oh. how's it going? How are you? How's it going this fine evening? Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we haven't you had to use that in a while. No, we haven't. Uh, the international funny. sign so that I know if this is somebody that you have talked to before. My back is literally killing me. Well, you shouldn't have taken that late afternoon nap. That's not my fault. The alcohol will help for sure. Uh, from Blue on Black by Five Finger, De- Five Finger Death Punch. Okay, so that's that's where I'd be out. Not my style, but I'm glad you like it. And why is that not your style? It's just not my kind of music. Okay. Not kind of my kind of rock and music. Okay. Then I'm guessing it's probably a little too much for me. <laughs> no, it'd probably be more up your alley than mine. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Uh, I was today years old when I learned that I can no longer nap on the couch. <laughs> you give me a break. I, you must have just been sleeping in some sort of crazy yoga position because you are you are a young, virile man. Please stop it. Stop it, sir. You're fine. You're fine. Um, but yeah, so that was what I had had during the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, it was kind of... It was not the game. I was just hoping was for at least a good game. A good game, yeah. And obviously, you know, uh, I was hoping for a little Patrick Mahomes. That pass that he threw when he was like... Almost, Literally falling. And it was... How many passes... Again, like they should have changed their game plan a little bit or something. Yeah, like there should have been some more some adjustments at halftime. Anyway, like the amount of crazy throws he made that were still hitting guys in the hands and the face and they right. were dropping them. I think yeah. they were just shocked the ball actually still yeah. got to them. And yeah. when you have Patrick Mahomes back there, how can it not be? We're talking rock music, Zeppelin, ACDC, Food Fighters. Those are a good power three right there. I am fine with all three of those. Food Fighters up for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. Really? Well, I like Dave Grohl. So. Dave Grohl is very cool. Yes. Yeah, up for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and should be as well. Surprisingly, Tina Turner still not in. She's up again as well. Hmm. How is Tina Turner not in? Didn't the they just vote for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? No, I think if the voting is, I don't think the voting is actually done. There was just, you actually posted a tweet about it. We okay. were talking about it the other day because then also still Iron Maiden ridiculous that they're not in the rock and roll hall of fame it's like please please metallica's in the rock and roll hall of fame iron maiden's not in there please yes see iron maiden like how can you not have iron maiden in there yeah those those better be shoe-ins foo fighters maiden and tina turner if the three of those don't get in like tina turner must have been up for years now right i can't imagine that she's not in there yeah <laughs> conan iron fucking mother lane whoa <laughs> i would switch those around but damn conan you're you're spicy about it i like it thank you how are you guys doing this fine evening it's good to see everybody in here yeah we are enjoying we just finished up uh one of the uh, gluten-free beers that we were talking about uh so we that was the big henry hazy ipa from holiday brewing i don't know if priest is in the hall that would be i um, I don't, I do not listen to a lot of, I like my Judas Priest here and there, but I don't listen to a ton of Judas Priest. Picking away at the Division 2 apparel event. Oh, yeah, you were always a huge Division 2. You love the Division 2. Like, how could Judas Priest be in, oh, in it and not Iron Maiden? Yeah, if they are actually in the Hall of Fame and Maiden is not, that would definitely be a, like, what is going on? What is wrong with the world? It's upside down. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. It could be that if you think of the voting, it makes sense. You've got another, <laughs> you got another <laughs> you got thing it. coming. Dun, 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 dun. You got another thing coming. That might be the only Judas Priest song I know. Um, 
I actually like, I don't know if it's a super deep cut, but I really like the song Turbo Lover. No, I don't think I've heard that one. I'm your turbo lover. Dun, dun, tell me I've... there's no Wait, you want to get in trouble? I don't, I don't sound like Rob Halford at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Thank you. Sorry, you guys had to listen to my rendition. <laughs> Got another thing coming, <laughs> Megadeth. Oh God, are they? They're not in the Rock and Roll Hall. Megadeth can't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, are they? I don't know if they're there yet. I could see them. I could see them getting in there. Maybe I don't know. It's it it like just like you've been around for a while. You eventually get in. It seems like everybody's <laughs> in. Like I remember when we went through. That was one of my favorite Thanksgiving memories. Oh, we, we have a hanging, couple of years we went through hanging around the fireplace and talking about either. I think we went through a whole list of groups that were in and we're like, right. should they be in? Kind of right. thing. Um, we all agreed the Beatles shouldn't be in, which is weird. I thought that was strange. <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The Beatles, of course, should be in there. I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, like, so we were going through, and I remember like, we, yeah, we had kind of both. We lists. had light. It was like them. Oh, yeah. It was don't like, get it. Or. Oh, that's what it was. If they were in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, we said, we said, of course. Yeah. Um, I, you know, no. Some was don't get it. And others like don't like them. Yeah. And the, but there was also there was something like, choices. I don't get it. But yes. Because like yeah. there's definitely artists where I'm like, well, yeah. I don't like them. But yes, of course, they should be yes. in there. Yes. Uh, just the fest. What? Oh, fantasticness of someone turning history and mythology into face meltingly good metal deserves the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. I mean, you've got yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that was. I mean, I remember like said us going through and like said especially like Iron Man. Like I, most people were like, yeah, but I, that's insane that they're not like I don't like them. But it's like that's great, you know. Which, yeah. You know, again, everybody yeah, likes different, different topics. Music. It was two different, the two years we did two different things, but they both yeah. involved the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah and there were definitely, yeah, it was, it was interesting going through those. Uh, but yeah, that is, I, that's what I love about music is like everyone's just, you know, diverse, you know, just, and I've, over the years, I think I've gotten better about letting some of my opinions like, allow other opinions in when it comes to music because i used you know because i, used good, to, that's, that's I felt like i had like a fairly large you know blanket thanks to you know like thanks to mom and dad and you and joe like both of you guys like said all of your influences on me and then me adding my own little bit i felt like i had a good uh like i said a, a good tent of music that i enjoyed other than country you know it was pretty much the only one that i kept out like everything else like i kind of understand um but like i've you know definitely allowed uh, other opinions to make their way like okay i don't i don't agree with that but i'm glad you like yeah. it that's cool Could, whatever, uh, you know that's what it's about you know because 20 years ago i'd have been like nope you can't like that that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> and that's maturity it that's is gross. and that's maturity right there that's what you get well you know that's i good. turned 102 about a week ago <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so <laughs> My papa didn't make Master Tinker until he was 491. <laughs> <laughs> as long as Cash made the cut, he is definitely in. And yeah, Johnny Cash is like, again, he's someone I, I listen to music, you know, here and there. And But it's like you have to understand, like, I think it's understanding the influence of something that then kind of slowly brings it, uh, like, you know, forward, I, I think is where. That's that I, I think that's now where, like, I kind of make the cut. If you can't at least say like well i usually don't like that but i understand right everything they brought to the table the influence right. they had what they did to rock or any kind right. of music then that's where i'll be like you don't get it that like how do you not get that, right. like, what they did and like said and johnny cash is kind of one of them that you know i like i don't have like his complete i actually have on an album we were going through the other day i organized all the albums alphabetically that we had when we moved them to another room because uh, they'd gotten kind of out of order and when I say albums, I actually literally mean albums, vinyl. Vinyl. Uh, I we I have uh, Johnny Cash uh, live at Folsom County Prison. I have that on album, and I have another one of his too. I think it's some other. Oh, I can't remember. I have, two, I have two Johnny Cash albums that are like seems like the seminal works when you talk about hmm. okay. uh, his stuff, which was kind of cool. But yeah, no, I I like I like Johnny Cash. I think he is. I think he is good. The country music industry ruined its own music genre. I mean, that's kind of how I feel because, like, when I think of country music, like, if you want to talk real country, it's Dolly Parton, Johnny Cash, uh, you know, to some extent, uh, um, uh, Kenny Rogers, you know, those. That's what I think of when I think of country music. You know, uh, who's Mr. Ponytail? Pot Willie Nelson. Guy. Willie Nelson. <laughs> He'll always be known as Ponytail Pot Smoking Man. Ponytail Pot Smoking Man. But like, that's what I think of when I think of country music. I don't think Shania Twain. I don't think, you know. Yes. Garth Brooks, I think, kind of actually walked a line where I think he actually kind of found newer country, but then also kind of had some of the other roots. Like, I think he was one that actually was able to kind of step, step in too. boat. Yeah, I, 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 could, yeah. I could see that. Like, you know. 
Yeah, but that's that that late eighties, mid nineties, and probably until to now, country was very pop. It was very pop adjacent in I think, a lot of ways. Yeah, I think that's where it got too. Like when country was more tied a little bit to folk, that's when I liked it a little bit more, as opposed as to when it pop, went more pop. into pop. Yeah, that's like an said, interesting. Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably an interesting the, take actually. I don't think I've ever like quite quantified it that way, but that's exactly what yeah. I think it is. It's like when it's more like. Uh, there was a story, and it wasn't someone's grandma who gets drunk and strips her, or how Toby Keith romanticizes a drinking problem. Wow. Yeah, it's those things. It's like Red Solo Cup and that stupid. Like, that to me is like, and there's that in every genre, that there's right. that in rock and roll where you're just like, wow, this is such a throwaway, crappy song. Like, you know, uh, you know, I, I get it. But right. like I said, for me, like I, I, when I like country music, it's the older stuff, and it's, yeah, it's telling a story. It's more closer to folk. It's more, you know, that kind of stuff. Because I, I mean, I definitely like the Old West, and, I, you know, I like, you know, a lot of things that are, would be intertwined marty with robbins yeah marty Wob- yeah exactly marty robbins down in the west texas town of el paso that's right Mm-mm. i fell in love with the latin america uh, he like maybe is he pc i know we have to say no not at all no not at all in rosie's cantina that's actually a good euphemism i'm in rosie's cantina <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> where are you at where are you at jimmy Rosie's can good Rosie's song. Cantina. Yeah, it's a great song. Yeah, don't bother I, me. I won't be responding to any of my calls. I'll be at Rosie's. Can, I'll Rosie's be knee cantina. deep in Rosie's. Cantina. Oh God! I'll be balls deep in Rosie's. Cantina. Oh well. What are I we guess doing? That's what you're getting at. This is getting out of <laughs> this hand. This is not going up on YouTube. Oh man, no, 100 percent all of it. Not editing out any of this. This is the gold you get to see when we are live here on twitchtv slash about beverages right. most Thursday evening. That's right. Most Thursday evenings podcasts right. do get edited out to smaller, give it a shot things and put up also on YouTube. But we are going to start putting up these full shows as well. Um, we did the one last week and it, like I said, it was it was pretty easy. It just takes a lot of time for the upload. It was about like four hours to upload that video because it is it's large. It's big, bigger, longer and uncut. I did not wind up no, calling okay, it that. Right. I thought about it. I didn't You have to contact Trey Parker and Matt Stone. For I that. would. But speaking of podcasts, speaking of podcasts, we should get to one. OK, so. Which do you think we should do? I either have, so I told you the beer we were bringing, and then we have a delicious uh, whiskey that we're going to be having. Right. I have had this whiskey before. Full disclosure. I have not. I'm excited about that then. Okay. So the beer, though, that we're bringing to the table, I'm pretty excited about this one, too. Are you ready for this information? Uh, Hit me with it. All right. So I'm not going to say all of it because we'll use some of it in the podcast, uh, but it is a blended coffee stout collaboration with a band. Look at that. HJ is shocked right now. I haven't. No, I've just been buying it for people. He's just been buying it for people. Uh, So this brewery, Elder Pine Brewing, they're actually called Elder Pine Brewing and Blending. So their big thing is that they make different beers and then they take those two profiles of already brewed beers and they blend them together to get like this new profile and then sell it. Okay. So like this one is a blended coffee stout. Uh, The blend ratio, it's a 50% imperial oatmeal stout. And then it's blended with a 50% with an extra stout aged in oak barrels for 13 months. This blended beer is then conditioned on dark Brazilian Santos coffee. Wow. So do you think that's too heavy and rich to do before the whiskey? Should we do the whiskey first? That is my question. You know, I actually think we should. I think so too. I initially had this. And I haven't had it though. You have to. I initially thought that the reverse right. with my podcast. That's how stuff. we finish things up usually. But yeah, but I also now I was like, like that sounds like that could be a lot of richness and already some barrel aging. I'd hate for it to throw off the flavors of the other thing. So I think we're going to start with the whiskey. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. We will do that. Uh, there we go. There's that. You have had access. You've got to take advantage of those perks. <laughs> You're ordering cases and cases of it at your work. It's not showing up though. Oh, what are you down to? Like three or four bottles, I think. Mm, such a good price there uh so they turn beer into babies but not in the fun way wow no no there's no there's no blending (laughs) don't burn my don't burn my babies um all right we will do the whiskey first then so let's go get that we'll go switch out our glasses uh let me get uh, this off the screen here we don't need that up anymore we don't need big henry we don't need that uh but we will uh go play a little music and then we'll be right back with our first podcast don't go anywhere well, good, because we're we're back. I'm glad you're we ready. We are. Oh, <gasps> and the music is still playing. That's good. We are back. We are live. We are doing all the things. Jeb, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. We were just getting back from a break, but I do appreciate the follow. That is super nice. How are you doing this fine evening? 
Um, yeah, we are going to record a podcast. The first one of the evening, the first of two. Um, this one obviously is on a whiskey. Get out of town. I know you can't tell by the bottle. Oh, that's what was funny. Actually, when I was in line, I was while we were walking in there, uh, <laughs> Keith saw my large collection of Weller uh, <laughs> signature series that I was able to find at uh, my local Walmart. Um, the giant is like, oh, my God. He's like, how big is this bottle? <laughs> it's a 1.75. So it's over two and a quarter bottle or right about two and a quarter bottles. Um, but yeah, they're ridiculous. So I was telling him that whole story. So as I was checking out with these four, that was all I had. My, I was <laughs> buying these four giant bottles. Uh, we're probably going to do that one next week. I had already wanted to do this one because uh, I haven't actually had it in a while, even though we have like a teeny bit left in the other one. Um, but anyway, I was checking out and there was like some older gentleman behind me, you know, probably 110 something like that uh he was in his little he's older he was in his little go-kart thing oh you know we've always talked about that you got to go way older than everybody else in your family (laughs) uh so he's probably around 110 and uh he was like he's like what is that is that whiskey or wine because of the size of that jug and i I was was like oh it's whiskey whiskey and then you know we both have masks on so then it's like i'm like whiskey what it's whiskey (laughs) he's like oh is it any good I said, well, I'm buying four bottles of it. I said, it's, it is, I said, it's actually really good. can be hard to find. Really? I've never seen a bottle like that. I was like, I hadn't either here. <laughs> so I didn't realize it came in a gallon jug. Yeah. <laughs> there should be like the, like, it should be like a rum jug, like on the yeah. side, like, or <laughs> that's about what it needs. It's whiskey hands off old man. That's right. I mean, I usually say hands off old man anyway, when yeah. I'm in the stores, but yeah. especially <laughs> so, at Walmart. Yeah. I was kind of, it was dumb. Like it, I mean, they don't care. They just want to sell it. It's out on the shelf. Like right. you have to, uh, there's like the little, you know, they have it locked down where you can't just like walk out of the store with it. Oh, so right. They have okay. those things on it at least. But when I walked, I was like going there, I was like, it's like, are they going to tell me you can only buy one? Like I was yeah. looking for something right. the whole time. They were just like, like they don't care. <laughs> like they're like, we just want this. Sure don't want to buy a case. I'll give you a discount. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the accent came what from. Would, what would be a whiskey <laughs> case? Is it six? That would probably be, yeah, four or six. I'm guessing that's how. <laughs> that should be like two. Yeah. <laughs> they should have gotten like a double discount. They just thought this guy is having a rough week. Exactly. He's got the COVID blues. This guy has the COVID blues. Backyard, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, those that bottle is, yeah. We'll definitely have that next week because we have never done any uh, well or anything here on the show. Uh, so we'll have that and that'll be kind of funny. <laughs> that, will be, that will be kind of funny. Um, all right, let's uh, get this podcast going. I'm going to take it down a few things. Uh, probably doesn't matter as no, much, okay. but... But uh, these do go up on YouTube. So that's, uh, like I said, especially these smaller give it a shots. Uh, so in classic fashion, we do take down some of the alerts and things like that. We do love you. We appreciate that you're here. If you do happen to follow uh, while we're recording the podcast, I'll definitely shout you out when we're done. Apologize that you don't get to hear the beautiful Iron Maiden alert that went off during the, uh, the thing there. So that uh, is uh, kind of fortuitous that that came up. <laughs> Because uh, that is uh, definitely something. I've got a lot of friends joining us here today. I know a lot of wonderful lot people. Of Thank you guys so much Good, for being yeah. here. It's almost like we should yeah. open up some whiskey in our beautiful whiskey glasses. I think we will. Oh wait, I don't have a wait. Do I have a command? For, I do have a command for that. I don't have a button though. Hold on. Hold the phone. Look at that. We have our own whiskey glasses, actually made by Glenn Karen, the whiskey maker. That's right. They etched them for us. Laser they, etched. Other than the broken one you had, <laughs> right? But that was not a problem. And they sent you a new one. Sent me a new one. No cost. Didn't even need a picture. Uh, evidence of my thoroughly pulverized glass. Yeah. Uh, so. Quick quick turnaround. So like I put I, it back together. Yeah. <laughs> you glued it together. I glued it back together and it uh, works great. There is whiskey in the jar. Yes, there is whiskey in the jar. I don't know if you want to go for the uh, Metallica cover or if you want to go for the original by... Uh, oh. Oh, who is it? It's... Yeah, uh, the Glenn Karen glasses. We love Oh, those. damn it. Why can't I think of who the original is? I can picture it. It's... Uh, uh, they do the remember Sanderson's wedding cowboy song. Uh, they do uh, oh, jailbreak, Joe, rednecks, jailbreak. Oh, uh, thin Lizzy, thin Lizzy. Thank you, thin Lizzy. There you go. Keith is always my musical Google. We have well, some like those, some. not with the laser etching though. For some, Mav, maybe you should get some. They're yes. out of. In, they're actually the place that does them is out of Indiana. Like we so it's do actually not Glenn make Karen's any website. money on them, so the that's their. Yeah, that they're, you're getting their factory price. So. Yeah, you are literally getting their price. Like I said, for the etching, just happens to have uh, our little uh, our logo, logo on, on there. It. Yeah. Um, wait, do I have that as a graphic? I used to have. I had that. Do I still? Hold on. I don't. Damn it! Why don't I have that as a picture? I had it. Oh wait. 
Maybe no, that's those glasses. I can't believe I don't have it. If you look to my pin tweet, <laughs> if you really want to see what they look like uh, in all of it, if you look to my pin tweet, uh, you can you can see those. But yeah, they're the exact same ones. They're made like I said. It is actually Glen Karen, uh, and uh, they just they do this like it's not like something special. But I did reach out to them, and they were kind enough to. Like I said, work with our logo and uh, like I said, made that and the etching came out really cool. And again, like you just said, we make nothing off of them. It's just, yep. you know, getting some good stuff in your hands, appreciating uh, helping us out. And if you do buy them, throw a picture up on uh, Twitter or yes. Instagram or anything like that. That is all we ask because that we would appreciate. Let us know what you're enjoying in them. That too. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. I remember when, uh, who was it? It was uh, Alpha, I think, bought some, like I said, and he was having some Buffalo Trace or something in there. So that's that's always the cool thing to hear. What are you enjoying? Uh, in there, I think so. Todd has sent me a picture. I think he did Angel's Envy as his, oh. or maybe it was Basil Hayden. He's a Basil Hayden fan too. I can't Basil remember. Basil Hayden's always good. One of the, one of those two. That's a solid one. His first uh, pour. I real I had not had the Angel's Envy port uh, port barrel aged uh, in a while, and that one's really good. That's like you know solid around forty five fifty bucks, and that one's still really good. Very smooth. Those um, the nineteen year Scotch bottles that we had. I had two cases of them. Uh, remember the one I showed you of, and you're like, I don't know if we were at 60 oh, or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It took, for, it took a while, but they wound up with, like, the last 15 bottles probably went in just, like, a little over a week. All of a sudden, oh, okay. they, were, they were gone. Wow. So, yeah. You're not much yeah. of a bourbon fan, but Basil, Basil Hayden's is a solid entry. Like, so, yeah, one. that one's yeah. definitely on the, on the sweeter side. Yeah. I think if you like Basil Hayden's, you might actually like that Angel's Envy because it is definitely smoother. You might still put, like, a little... Like I said, I know sometimes you're either a rock or maybe a little tiny bit of water. Uh, probably not necessary because it's, like I said, I don't think that one's more than 90 proof or whatever. But the Angel's Envy is on kind of that sweeter side and I think on the smoother side. So you you might like that one. You know uh, the listeners. one we have tonight, it's going to be interesting. You it's, know our listeners. Wow. I do, well, Mav comes in uh, quite a bit and we, we have uh, some good chats. He is a, he is a wonderful uh uh, hater of uh, Trump, like most of us are as well. So we're <laughs> <laughs> collectively bonding over all these things, good okay. video game times. And uh, good. yeah, hey. so uh, that is all of those things. And, and f- actually from Maryland, in Maryland? No, none of those things. Okay. Well, he might be from, you know, that part I don't know, you have to admit, but I know he's, I think he is in the uh, land of, uh, of the uh, Chicago drinkers. Oh, okay. The Chicago, the Chicago beers. Um, what do I need to tweak? Tweak one more thing here. From original, okay. Live in Chicago now. Oh, okay. From original, okay, yeah. But yeah, we have had a lot of uh, oh wow, there's wonder, more. wonderful conversations. There we go. All right. You ever had the ten-year basil? I have not had the ten-year basil, Hayden. I have not. I have not. I get them all confused. What basil Hayden's bourbons? Oh, in general, I just yeah, I'm I'm lost. The only one I can think of is consistently because I still have that same amount <clears throat> in my uh, at home is the the Trader Joe one that we said wouldn't be good straight but would be a good mixer. Oh, okay. I just remember that one being a little more cinnamony and spicy and needing some sweet. Wonder if it's worth the price. The regular basil <clears throat> is so so. Yeah, I, I think the regular basil is a little on the thinner side. So I forget how long is that one actually aged? Is that one seven, six or seven? years is it even that much i can't remember off the top of my head so like i said maybe 10 years might do that one some good i've tried a few other the basil hayden's as well the A change like, might do it good that's true there's some rum barrel aged ones that uh i actually don't know okay there's some rum barrel aged ones that like i like we had that one i think frank brought that one over and i kind of liked it but you were thinking it was getting like way too sweet remember we had the oh the, yeah that was when i had the yeah. pro, i brought over the prohibition uh, which was re- which was good, and then we had that one, and I was like, "Oh, this one's pretty." I think it was dark rum barrel or something, because it was very like yeah. the color. Like that one, I think was getting a little too uh, sweet as well. But I, I did like it. I like you know. Sometimes you're in the mood for a little sweet. Sometimes That's you right. want to be punched around. That's right. Little, Usually, little I don't sweet. like being punched around. That's right. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> little sweet. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> Whenever you are ready, we will start this podcast. I am ready. Let's open it up. No, I'm <laughs> we just go right to it. We, this I wonder, is the fastest I wonder, podcast. I wonder thing. if people would like that. Like if we literally <laughs> talked for nothing, begin to said we're opening this. We just said, "Will it family estate bottled for your rye?" I never went. I should go back and look now that there's been some time. Remind chat. Remind me to do this after the podcast. Let me go back and look. 
there was a time when we did two or three different, a completely silent podcast. We just, yeah, the podcast, like 10 minutes long, it's just like, they're like, oh, your audio didn't come through. Oh, we didn't say anything. We didn't say anything. You have to watch the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah don't, this is one you cannot listen to only. <laughs> hey, we're opening this bottle right now. It tastes like things. Okay, bye. <laughs> <Yeah>. well, <laughs> That's our TikTok. <laughs> well, the one time we talked with, uh, I think we were talking with Joe at one party once, and we were like, ooh, oh, wow. And yeah. that's it. You know, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Upload ooh, it to hey. Spotify too. That's important. Exactly. <laughs> yes. like, this podcast is terrible. Or maybe they'll love it. Uh, but remind me to go back and look. There was a time when we did a podcast, and then we also then reiterated it in like recap. short, like two minute, like recap form. Yeah. We were wondering quick if, hits. if yeah, we were doing like quick hits. We only did a couple of them because I kind of lost interest in it. Yeah, and I don't know if it was doing, but it'd be interesting to go back now that it's been probably eight months, a year, no, probably longer than that. Anyway, yeah. quite a while. We'll go yeah. back and look if we if you can even the remember which one that whatever. was. It'd be great. Yeah. So remember that. Yeah, Wes, how's it going? How are you? We are having a wonderful evening. We're we are. It's about to maybe get even more wonderful, actually. I hope so. We'll find out. Mm. All right. So it's been a little bit since we have had a whiskey. And by a little bit, I think we did one at the end of December. <laughs> so not uh, that long. Yes. Yes. Right. The, the, uh, the third annual. The third annual. Viewer appreciation. Listener appreciation uh, beverage podcast. Yes. Yeah, and we did the uh, it was the Jura Tide, yes. right? Uh, scotch, we had that. Uh, today we've got something different. It is not uh, all the way on the other side of the world. It is here from the U.S. Yep. Uh, we do have another. It's a rye whiskey for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Willett Family Estate Bottled Four Year Rye. Yeah. Um, these are, they vary a little bit from time to time in um, alcohol and proof, uh, and that's just because they come from different barrels. I'm guessing. Yeah, right? like yeah, said, yeah okay. these are all like said bottled that way. Like said, and not not by much. The previous bottle that I have had, so like said uh, again, uh, full disclosure, I have had this whiskey before. You have not. I have not. So this is uh, like said. So I'm bringing this. Like said, you were kind enough to give me a new bottle. Uh, well, that's my, right. That you opened birthday last, last week, week uh, yeah. on, a, on a podcast or on a, during a live stream uh, on twitch.tv slash about beverages. That is correct. Uh, what, what we do most Thursday nights. It happened to happen just a week or so after your birthday. And you, uh, we decided to have a, a birthday gift opening. We so, did. That was the first time we'd done this. that. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, that was very cool. So anyway, this, it, the old bottle that I have, I think was 110.2 proof. And this right. one is 110, 110, yep. 110. So not yep. much difference. So very close. Uh, but this one is can be a little difficult to find. Um, not it hasn't been as of late, thanks to uh, <laughs> my local Trader Joe's and more. That, yeah, uh, that's true. They have, uh, like I said, they have had a little bit of supply of this and a really good price on it too. This yeah, bottle, very good price. Usually, you see it for sixty five ish, maybe up to seventy, depending on where you go. But like I said, at least locally. It's 50, 50, 57. 57. Yeah, so like at, said, that's, uh, if you can find it at Trader Joe's, the last few weeks, uh, actually more than that, uh, in the last, I'd say, two months that I've ordered it, I've gotten like one case of it. So I'm going to continue to try to order it and uh, we'll see. But uh, at least, yeah, we're down to just a few bottles at, at our store right now. So I made sure that I snapped one up. But yeah, this is one that I, like I said, again, full disclosure, I do it. I have enjoyed in the past, uh, but I am excited to open a brand new one because my other bottle, I think, I don't even know if it had a shot's worth left in there. It was down that low, uh, but I've been saving it. But yeah, I, for some reason, I thought at some point we had shared some. So knowing that you haven't had this, I'm pretty sure I'm that pretty I have not. Pretty excited that we're going to have some tonight. Uh, and uh, been, give this uh, give this one a go. I like a lot of the stuff from Willet. We've had their uh, pot still reserve. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. Like I said, it comes in a really cool bottle as well. Uh, it actually looks like the pot still. Remember, we almost oh, yeah. bought that we one almost year. We almost did. Yeah, we almost bought the that one, year one for our annual uh, podcast. But uh, the first year we considered that. Yeah. Yeah. But that well, one's always solid. And Willet does, uh, or um, Lagunitas does uh, Willetized co uh, stout, right? 100%. They, yeah, yeah, yeah I have, and, I've got like four of those in my fridge right oh now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's literally called those had, those Willetized. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's, it's actually an imperial coffee stout. It's This year, I think it actually went up the alcohol a little bit too i think it's 13 percent. wow okay. but it's that is yeah one of my favorite things i look forward to every year from uh, from lagunitas for sure and this so straight rye this is all rye correct because there are some that have a heavier rye bill mm -hmm. that are different but this is yeah. rye. okay yeah so that's why why it be whiskey and not bourbon it be whiskey it be whiskey <laughs> here there be whiskey uh kind of dark honey color maybe yeah, a little it's got a nice there's a little, is there a little amber in there a little yep a little bit of brown. 
<laughs> Looking at this sideways kind of reminds me, it looks like Jurassic Park when they find the different little uh, bugs fossilized in the amber. It's kind of like that color. <laughs> That's Jurassic it, Park Amber, we'll call it. <laughs> Jurassic, yeah, that'd be, I don't know where that is on the Pantone on the scale, Pantone but scale, it's, right. it's, it's, it's there, trust me, it's there. This is now when I can write some notes. Yeah, so you can write some notes. notes. I believe the straight indicates nothing added to modify the flavor. That's probably as true as well. Uh, 55% alcohol into So that doesn't mean um, it's all right. It's all, all right. right now. Oh, okay. I was thinking, because it it's all right. Oh, that's good too. I thought that's what you were going for there. Good I'm trying to that's see. Good I'm trying not to look at tasting notes. I was trying to see. It does not say specifically what the, uh, what the grain bill is. If you want to let me know if that actually is like, because I know, like, the piggyback from uh, Whistle Pig, uh, that one is 100% rye. So I know that can be done. I think that was, a, but if I made an assumption there, incorrect. I do want to know. No, that's mostly tasting notes. They don't really say anything there. I realized last week when we were editing the uh, podcast, we're still actually doing the podcast right here, but this stuff will be edited out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I realized when we were doing the podcast last week, um, when we do the, when we do something where we're going to at the end say which one we like, we should have a lot of that discussion and then say, all right, now let's just give our opinion. Cause there was a lot of like back and forth and retreading and on a lot of mostly on me where I kept oh, saying okay. something and then it was like you chime and then it was like, it made it hard to edit. Cause then I was like, well, I edit out this huge chunk. And then one of us would refer back to something from two minutes ago. And I was like, so what do we need to do? When we get to the end of one of those podcasts right. where we're about to discuss like, well, which one of these would you pick? We should probably have a discussion and kind of figure it out first what our real opinions are 100 percent okay and then go like all right and then record all right so which one would you okay, pick right, like that kind it. of thing we kind of okay. need to do that little thing i just looked at the channel rewards says anyone spent seven hundred fifty thousand? not yet early on it just happened a couple times and then uh because keith said I'm, I'm not flexing i don't really want to flex no, we and i said well what if it's a big number you're like it better be a big number so that's where the 750 <laughs> came in and we have some very devoted listeners <laughs> and watchers that are saving up for it uh, and he's been working out for it too. So I have not. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's doing some push ups, he's doing a little everything. Hey, hey, how's it going, Dr. Psycho? How's it going? How are you? Okay, good. <laughs> that's, a, that's our international symbol when I know somebody. Yes. <laughs> Slam my face. It helps me to know. Does it? It does. Okay. Does well, because that it? way I'm not like, do you know this person? Yeah. Because you're so see, good at it. You see, were, backyards at 405. You're very K. smooth. You can just navigate and you negotiate in and out of these conversations. And sometimes I'm like, do you know that person? You're like, no, I have no idea that one. <laughs> I have no idea. Usually that. we, we, re we recognize somebody we don't know because they say weird things. That's true. That really usually is the things. dead giveaway when all yes. of a sudden someone's like, oh, we got to ban that person. So we've got, so we got the information from Jay there. I have read some rise on the market have had flavorings added to enhance them that they can't be straight either. Okay. So that's all it is. Rye whiskey has been aged. Okay. Okay. All right. So straight rye, like is it? Okay. It can mean a lot of different things, but it does mean that it's once straight. you've said, once you've said straight rye whiskey, then that's kind of basically said it's got to be at least two years, nothing else added to it. Yeah. It's, okay. So we're, we're good there. We're safe. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you looking that up because I was just starting to look, couldn't find it. I'm trying to decide if I want to drink or if I'm just going to pass out. Mm. Depends. Were you going to have some more of that mead you were posting up on Twitter or, or something else? A little, little something stronger. You could have like a small little something and then that'll probably just finish off the sleeping job. I'll probably yeah. just, 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 just take you right over. Like you're kind of, you're teetering. You're kind of, uh, uh it'd be like just have someone be ready to catch yeah <laughs> like if you could have jewels be there just, just have it in a sippy cup yeah <laughs> oh god what a horrible thing to do <laughs> man all right are you ready to discuss the nose on this one i think so yeah i think so okay yeah. all right yep I like that for such a strong proof, 
110, you know, kind of getting up there a little bit that I can take like a good inhale. Cause sometimes when they'll start getting up there, depending on how alcohol like aromas are coming through or whatever, uh, sometimes you can't take as much of it, but this for even having just opened it too, and just having opened it too is, is fairly, is, is nice on the nose. Are you getting, uh, anything in particular? It's good. It's going to sound weird. I get grain. Okay. <laughs> well, so I get I get miscellaneous grain notes. Miscellaneous, it's not, gra- perhaps it's, rye, it's, like rye grains. It could be. Maybe <laughs> I just don't know rye well enough. It doesn't make me want a Reuben or anything like that. Okay. Uh, but but there's also a nice. There is a sweetness to it. There's a little bit of. Um, I'm getting like a burnt sugar or brown sugar, like a little like caramelized that. in Almost there. Almost a little. That last sip. Almost a little like uh, bordering on not cola, but like a lighter something like that. Okay, so tying into cola just a little okay. bit, I'm getting a little bit of like cherry or like raspberry, like I'm getting some sort of fruit in there as well. Like, I don't okay, know if yeah. it's like, yeah. not like fruit cake. No. Like, it's not like that. Like, it's, I don't think it's like candied fruit, but I think there is definitely some sort of little cherry mixed in with all that yeah. stuff. Like maybe and Mr. Then I, Pib. I almost got, hey, that's, hmm. wow, that's a callback. A little pep. I almost want to say like uh, like pipe tobacco, but it's not quite that far. No. I've had other things that like when we had the whistle pig earlier on uh, that tenure, that has a very strong like mint and pipe tobacco thing. Right. But there's something else like maybe tying into the grains, like a little earthy or something in there too. But right. I, I really like the but nose it's very, on this. But at the, at the same, it's also very light though and, and kind of even. Yeah. It just, it doesn't really hit any one of those notes higher or lower. It's no. just kind of like it's a, it's just a rolling wave of, oh, it's this and here's this and here's this. It's a balanced this, complexity. And, it is. It is a balance. That is going to actually be my new uh, stage name, Balance Complexity. Balance Complexity. No. Let's just go to the sip. Let's do it. I kind of want a drink now, too. See? Go ahead. Have a drink. Again, doesn't have to be alcohol. It can be. True. That's usually what we have on here, but anything else doesn't matter. What did you get in the we had a lot of people that were the excited about the watermelon soda we did the other day. I was actually, yeah. that was one of our nicer comments on YouTube. <laughs> it was really? very, yeah, someone it. actually said, I love all things watermelon. I looked for some different reviews, couldn't find any. I landed on yours. Wow, it was so good. It was. I was like, man, I don't know who this person is, but I feel like I should pay them. <laughs> it was Thanks, such Mom. a nice little pair. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> How did you get on there? But yeah, it was, it was very cool. Green. I thought I saw some eye twitching when you took a drink. <laughs> You do to, it. There is. I'm. Well, I don't want to get into it yet. Yeah, we can. I can get those notes later. Well, no. I mean, if you're, are you, are you actually we'll get, ready? We'll do you have your there. thoughts? I need another sip. I need another little something, something. I am ready. <clears throat> definitely getting a lot of the rye spiciness and the heat. Yeah, there's definitely yeah. Now, my God, now, the heat. Yeah, there's a there's a good amount of heat on there, but I, but I like it though. Like it's not uh, it's, it's it's all front to me. Hmm. I'm not. I, I get it. Let me say this: front and then here. Oh, okay. I, it kind of there's a little there's a little uh, skateboard ramp it's, in there yeah, that jumps over the, the fire tongue of my tongue and then <laughs> and right as it goes down the esophagus, um, <laughs> this goes down the esophagus uh, there. It's yeah, it it's warm here, but it's not like it doesn't. I mean, it, it's it's warm, but it's not burning. I guess would yeah. be the right thing to say. It's not. It's a good feeling. It's not, yeah. It's not uncomfortable. Um, it is. It does have that that spicy uh, goodness. The body is surprisingly. Um, uh, mild, I guess. And I mean that in a good way. I think I was for some reason thinking it might be thinner. I don't know why yeah. I was thinking that, but I was thinking it might be, but the body is, um, smooth and, um, and yeah, it has a nice sort of, there's, there's a little bit of appropriate cinnamon and I get like a little cinnamon, just a yeah. little, not like red hots or can't, but just a nice little, a little bit of that in there. And that's, and that's very nice with that heat and with the, um, the little bit of sweetness that's in there too. I'm getting, yeah, I, I agree with everything you said. Like I said, definitely more of the spice kind of lingers on the front of the tongue, which is yeah. nice, nice warmth. Like I said, you can definitely feel the proof of the alcohol. Uh, like I said, you know, hits a little bit more there. Um, I get a little bit of that fruit still. Like I said, I'm still getting a little bit of that cherry, definitely yeah. like some cinnamon, some other spices. And then, uh, I, and that, that caramel is, 
uh, is is still there as well. Like I said, I don't know if it's it's lightened maybe a little bit. For some reason, it was a little heavier in the nose. Like now it seems a little lighter. Maybe it's not quite like burnt caramel. Maybe it's more of like just a regular kind of caramel, but that's right. in there too. I think it's a really good balance and I, and I like... I like the little extra heat that's in there. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely have, you know, like uh, one of, you know, my go-to favorites uh, is the Woodford, the double oaked. And I love that one because it's just like maple and it's kind of got the sweetness to it uh, and it's really smooth and, and everything else. Uh, but it's not overly complex. So that's, you know, and it's not super expensive either, but it is, it is very good. But this one kind of brings some of that, but not quite as heavy and then brings other complexity and then press a little bit of that, you know, heat that turns it into even more of like just a nice sipper where you you know, I like, I like, I've really gotten into like my whiskeys too and bourbons when you're kind of almost enjoy the nose as much as you enjoy like actually sipping it. Yeah. When I sit there, you know, I pour myself, you know, I pour myself some and it's just like, you just kind of, you just kind of like keep sitting there and enjoying it. And I think this is kind of one of those because I keep getting a little bit more uh, out of each, out of each uh, like sip or sniff or, or whatever. But well, the great thing about enjoying the nose, uh, two things actually, one, you don't go through your whiskey quite as fast. Ooh, good point. From a dollar standpoint, and then <laughs> two, a... you don't go through it quite as fast so that it's an, an, uh, an intoxication standpoint either. <laughs> that's true. You just enjoy that aroma. And that is, that's a great, uh, that's, that's a great point to just be able to have something that, that you just appreciate that aroma as much or almost as much as, as the sipping part, because that's, that's where you pick up most of your flavors anyways is through the through the old old factory senses the old old factory yeah, that's right uh and uh, where you can find other old factory reminiscing is at our website about beverages.com uh, dancing in we... the dark walking through the park and reminiscing <laughs> and reminiscing exactly <laughs> uh we've done the we've done this for over a decade now which seems crazy for me to say but crazy. it actually has been over a decade uh where we've been putting up uh, either podcasts news stories other recipes and all that kind of stuff you can find all that at the website if you only want the latest videos uh from that time period you are more than welcome to subscribe on youtube we'd greatly appreciate that that would be super nice uh it has uh, been uh, seen some little channel growth there we're trying to push through that uh, and uh, kick it into high gear for this year. So uh, anything you guys can do, either watching things or like, again, the subscribe uh, is very much appreciated. And uh, if you only want the audio, we get that too. And we've got you covered uh, for your uh, either running or uh, activities or just being out and about when you can't watch the video. Maybe Spotify. cleaning the house. Could be. I've been listening to podcasts as I've been, you know, we're doing stuff around the house and nice. you're moving around. You can't, you're not just right in front of that screen. So yeah. That is the way to go. Spotify, iTunes, Apple, uh, Google Podcast, anywhere where you get your podcasts to search for About Beverages, I'm sure you will find us there. Is there anything else? I think I've covered. No, wait. There's something else on the you internet. Haven't. You haven't. No, the three, the three pillars. Uh, three pillars. Three son pillars, of a gun. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is the one that we uh, use most often. We'll let you know when we're about to go live on twitch.tv slash About Beverages most Thursday evenings, usually around, what, six... 6.30 Pacific Mountain Mountain yeah five, pretty soon they'll five be the same Pacific, yeah, in this, a couple months they'll there's be the weird same. things just, but, just uh, follow yeah. <laughs> most Thursday evenings yeah. after, as the sun is setting that's why Twitter everyone. is so good that's right we'll <laughs> let you know uh, what we're doing there um, and you, yeah join us at twitch.tv slash about beverages because uh, that's where you can uh, watch our entire show interact with us uh, as we're recording before we're recording all that stuff uh, also Andrew's going to let you know uh, what he's doing throughout the week because he's uh, gaming most days, doing all kinds of things and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he'll let you know what things and stuff he'll be doing and at what time he will be doing it. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. Old Factory Reminiscing oh, t-shirt. What do you think? Dancing in the dark, walking in the park. and Old Factory Reminiscing. Is that t-shirt worthy? Is that worth writing down? We, we need some ideas. Um, before we, well, you've, yours is gone. I can pour more if I need to. Well, just just for the nose. Pour a little more. <laughs> All Ooh. right, I'll pour a little more All of the right, delicious whiskey. All right, have a little more. All right, I'll do it. Willett Family Estate, number oh 637, gosh. single barrel, 23-year-old oh straight barrel whiskey on cask. Holy frioles. When are you sending that to us for a review? Yes. <laughs> That is a serious Wes, my new best friend. <laughs> yeah, no, this is just the uh, four-year. Or your rye. Old factory reminiscing for whiskey. Ye old factory reminiscing for mead. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's a ye old factory reminiscing. I actually have, that's another thing we could do. I did, when I ordered uh, some mead over the holidays uh, uh, for our niece and nephew-in-law, as he likes to be called. Um, when I ordered stuff uh, for them, I actually did get 
one of the ones that we had had, but then I got a brand new one. So we actually could do oh. another Art of Him mead yeah. at some point. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, some people were uh, talking about that. And actually, there's another mead we need to check out. Speaking of uh, uh, Dr. Psycho being in here, uh, Psych Owl. If I want to go with your brand new, your new moniker. Um, was it different before? It was just Dr. Psycho. Oh, okay. but you can see, look, see, owl, little, yeah, I saw the owl. owls right yeah. there. Super cool. Um, <laughs> good. Well, good luck in winning that lottery. I have a feeling I'll win the Georgia. I'll let you know if you do, man, man, oh man, I will set up a PO box immediately. Um, how much? Can you imagine you have to insure that? I might just, oh, you totally would insure that. Actually, for a, actually, we'll just, why don't you just drive out here? Just, we'll have you as a guest yeah, on the show. There you, go. you buy that and want to do it on the podcast, you can come on here and be a guest for a whole show. Uh, I'm telling Berserker you. Berserker joined us while we were uh, recording, too. Oh, we did, Berserker. I'm yes. sorry. I didn't see you. The That's Drinking right. Duo Ahoy Beverage Boys. Good to see you, Berserker. How are you doing this fine evening? Sorry about that. Try some read from Grunfall sometime. Would love to hear your opinion. You've talked about that one. And then the other one, um, I'd have to look it up on Twitter, but uh, Dr. Psycho was talking about it. Um, there was, and they actually ship Berserker. Where were you getting your mead from? Did they ship as well? Like I said, I definitely have been interested. I, like I said, I liked what art of M did so much, uh, that I want to try some other ones. Where did I put, oh, my phone's in my pocket. It's usually where it is. I keep my phone and my bra and brass in my pocket. Both things. He's got brass. Uh, in I'm going to look on here. Hold on. Hold the phone. I think if I go here. I scroll up. Here it is. Oh my gosh. It's the exact same one, Berserker. That's so funny. You and, uh, you and Dr. Psycho all have, have had the, the exact same mead. That's the one she recommended. She recommended Valkyrie Choice Oak Aged Craft Mead. And it's from that. I'm terrible at pronouncing that. How would you pronounce that? Gronfell? G R O E N N F E L. Gronfell or? Gronfell or Grunfell? I guess it could be a yeah, greener. Yeah, so that is the one she recommended as well. She was talking about those, and she's really digging that one. So I will have to definitely check out an order because they ship. Grenfell. There we go. All right, thank you. I appreciate the pronunciation. Wow, that is so funny because you had talked about that one several weeks. Did you finally have some? Because you'd been kind of doing a dry beginning to the year. Alcohol has arrived. Thank Jeebus. What did you order, Mav? Did you even say earlier? What did you order? Well, I, I, you said I, beer, right? Well, I know, I know already came. Jeez, that's fast. I know. It's like same hour delivery. Unless maybe it, maybe yeah. he ordered it long. Could maybe be. maybe right before he took his long nap, he was like yeah. alcohol. And uh, he, he passed out. Who knows? It's amazing how much some bottles of booze cost. Our clan whiskatarian has spent quite a bit on Scott. Oh my God, a clan whiskatarian. That's a good title to have. Wow. Yeah, I am the clan. I am the clan whiskatarian. Yeah, you can. Come over here. You can. You can go down a very big rabbit, especially with certain things that are hard to find now that should only be you know, 60 or $70, like normal retail price. Like if you're talking about your pappies and a lot of other things, it goes up like exponentially when you can't find them. Uh, the liquor store is literally five minutes away. I ordered it to my house because I'm already in my PJs and it's minus six degrees. Oh yeah. And he was saying he's in Chicago. I, yeah. One of my coworkers was showing me the, like the Chicago weather on his phone app. And it was like, yeah, it was like seven degrees oh and the lows God. were, were going to be below zero. Yeah. It was crazy. Coffee blueberry meat. Oh, yes, I love that. Uh, it was a limited run, so I'll have to see if I can find it in the link. Coffee blueberry meat. Oh, that does sound good. That sounds pretty, deli pretty delicious. Clan Moncrief Society. Oh, man, you're throwing out all the good words tonight. Those are like the $6 words. Uh, you got two kinds of beer, Half Acres, Bodum IPA, and Sagatuck's Blueberry Maple Stout. That sounds interesting. That sounds like a good little combo right there. I like that. I like you can go from the IPA right into the stout. All right. What did I, was it aroma you were wanting me to Yeah. Add? Just give me your bullet points on aroma and taste. I wrote some stuff down. It's been cold here too. I think we may have hit double digits for the first time in three days here. You've just hit double digits. Double just digits. <laughs> hey, double it's digits. 11. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> I was thinking going back the other way. Oh, <laughs> What, you were at 100? And <clears throat> yeah, no, not triple. No. Now you're at 99? Valkyrie is fantastic, though, definitely recommend. All right, I'll have to, I will, I'm definitely going to have to look into that because I would like to do some more mead things this year for sure. Uh, Only 10. I think there are months oh, here in Chi Town lucky. where it, oh, it was being, lucky in morning. Um, oh, yeah, Sunday. I'm sure. Yeah, okay. Lucky was uh, in uh, angry morning that evening. It was a lot of uh, ref 
refs are frustrating and this, that, and the other. Yeah, you know, I heard a lot of talk I, about that stuff. Yeah, too, it's always so. a blend of all those things, but yeah. it's always frustrating when it's like, all right, we're having trouble anyway. I don't need this too. Like right. that's kind of what right. like it turns into. It's just kind of ridiculous. A balmy ten degrees or so, time to dig out the shorts. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Banana hammocks for everybody. Uh we hit a period around St. Patrick's Day and people are wearing shorts if the weather's above 30. Yeah, that definitely sounds like Chicago for sure. 59 degrees in Atlanta. It was higher earlier today. Yeah, today was like in the low 70s, low to mid 70s. And then like the evenings have still been really cool, like in the 50s. So I usually after a warm evening or day of streaming, I try and leave the window open to cool everything. Streaking? Out of here. No, not streaking. Oh, streaming. Okay. They're going to go up the, into the quad. They're going streaking. They're going streaking. I'm going streaming. That would be funny. I'm going streaming. <laughs> Why wow, you were streaming? I need a graphic like that's how I need to start my show. Yeah. Like have like some I'm little streaming. eight bit character running across the screen saying I'm streaming. <laughs> Leaving a little puddle of water behind him. I think like it goes back. Like I said, I, in the in the nose, it was that like cherry or some sort of fruit, uh, like caramel, but almost like a little more like burnt. Like it was like you know kind of that dark caramel kind of thing. <laughs> Bring your funny hat. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, what else? Earthy, like it was earthy, earthy and spice. Like that was kind of what you had said, spite or you, you had said spice. grainy, you were saying grainy. Yeah. And then I was kind of, it was in that same wavelength where it was like, there was something that was earthy. Like so initially I said tobacco, but then I backed off of that. It was the kinda, forgotten spice girl, earthy spice, earthy spice. Yeah. She's well, vegan. she was forgotten because she's homeless, I'm guessing. She's vegan. That's why she's earthy. <laughs> she's vegan. <laughs> On the back of a golf cart with a laptop and a phone connection trying to play Fortnite while you're swerving back and forth. That is a, that's quite an image right there. That Oh, you're saying, oh, while well, I'm streaking. That's why I'm, I'm streaming that way. Oh, God. That would, be, that would be pretty good. Old school came out when I was in high school, so I couldn't, couldn't wow. really appreciate it. Man, that hurts. That's 2002. Is it? That movie came out, yes. Well, because that's what we were watching a documentary on Elf, the movies we love. And so right. Elf came out like right after that. And they were oh, like, is Will Ferrell really the person? You know, yeah. Have they're... you seen that documentary? Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Is that part of that? Yeah. But then Beer Fest came out my sophomore year. So uh, there was drinking like a lot. Yeah. I would say that ties more into that for sure. All right. And then taste. We got Back heat. when Will Ferrell was funny. Yeah, I would agree. Like he has not had a lot of great stuff as of late, but I, yeah, old school and. Uh, Anchorman. I haven't of seen course. Anchorman two in a while, so I'd have to go back to that one. But Anchorman and, and Elf, obviously, like I said, there was there's oh, definitely yeah. like a run of some good Will Ferrell stuff. And I think he's still funny on Saturday Night Live. So I agreed with you. Like I said, it was definitely the you know the heat, yep. which I get a little bit at the back, but that goes here. Yep. Spice on the front, definitely lively spice, cinnamon. Um, Caramel slash vanilla, like as it lightens up a little bit. I don't know if I'd quite go vanilla, but there's some, it's a little bit lighter than what you get in the nose. Um, and, and still that fruit is there, I think. I think there's like some, like I said, cherry or raspberry, like probably more cherry because it's a little darker fruit kind of okay. thing. But that's, that is a good one. All right. That's worth every penny. Especially when it's a gift. Yeah. Will that encourage you? Oh, I should have asked this on the podcast. Will that encourage you to buy a bottle? No. Knowing that it's like slowly might, might not be able to find it. It's more expensive yeah. other places. Yeah, I just haven't been. You have a Trader Joe's discount that you get. That, that does help. And it's good right now. It makes even it better even, right now. It's even better right now. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, still not enough. No, I just haven't really been. Isn't it nice just having one of those, like knowing that you have a good one as opposed to whatever you're not wanting to drink right now? <laughs> Like, I think that's the, the thing stuff that, that I've you... bought for podcasts that I'm not drinking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be the new thing. Like I said, it's always like, you have so much glassware. Then it'll be like, what are all these bottles? You're not drinking. Like, oh, I bought for yeah, podcasts, podcasts and I don't drink. Yeah. Andrew wouldn't buy that one from me. <laughs> Andrew wouldn't take that one, one time from you, me. I think you bought. Oh, the weeded. The weeded one. The yeah. weeded one. Yeah. So. That's all right. I'll sell them on the open. The, the, that bourbon's out of stock at, and it's coming soon, so I could probably sell my open bottle true. for yeah, 20 or 25 bucks. Of that one, yeah, maybe you could. <laughs> What's the deal with all these bottles? What's, the deal? What's up with all these bottles? <laughs> uh, that one was good. I like that one. I like that one a lot. We don't need Holla Daily open anymore. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, was it? Okay. So our next one is, I think it's really interesting. It's gotten even more interesting as I read about it. I told you about it earlier. Like I said, the blended, like the, their, their whole oh, thing, yeah. the There's whole thing from this brewery, there. Elder Pine Brewing and Blending, 
their whole thing is that they I, i'm sure they make some beers that they don't actually blend but it seems like their big uh you know claim to fame is that they're always blending things together like different batches of things together to make unique tastes interesting tastes this one i think definitely uh, sounds really good and august burns red is a band so i did not know that until today i'm going to admit okay. that 100 percent. i'm not going to try and play it off like i knew everything about them okay i had no idea till today i thought it was another brewery although in the back of my mind, I had heard that name at some time because I even thought to myself, isn't that the name of a band? But I wasn't sure. So I'm not going to claim that I did. But I looked them up today. They are. They are a band. They're an American metalcore band from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, formed in 2003, a year after Old School came out. Oh. It says it even right in the Wikipedia. It says it right there? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, the band's current lineup consists of some guys. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So what is funny is the name of this beer... And the reason I'm talking about this now, I think it's a little too long for the podcast. I'm sure I'll weave this in at some okay. point. Um, but uh, like I said, again, this will go up in the full live show up on YouTube uh, if you start watching those or are watching here right now. The beer is called Sledden Hill. And I was like, well, that's an interesting name. So this band actually did an album called Sledden Hill. It's a Christmas album. Oh, they okay. actually did a Christmas album. I'll look that up in a second. I realize now I should have saved that clip of that album but they do songs like rudolph the red-nosed reindeer and i think uh sledden is like an acoustic something that they do so that is whatever um but uh so was this a holiday beer then holiday release i think it was a re it was okay. definitely a winter beer release like i said i wasn't too worried about holding it because i was did want to have it with you um just because of you know, like i said again if you're talking imperial stouts barrel aged beers that stuff keeps as long as you're keeping it you know nicely uh cellared refrigerated right. <clears throat> all that stuff now we can't play too much, obviously, because we don't want to get taken down. Right. But well, I, I just we're wanna, not here if we I just, just go. Please. I just want to give you, yeah, I just want to give you a touch. Just want to give you a little, little, a little flavor of is what this August a Christmas Burn, song. No, I'll go back and look for that one. So we'll play two little. Say, this is the one I happen to have queued up. This is Internal Canon off of, I don't even know what album is this off of. This is from 2011. All right, you guys ready for this? So light stuff. So light, very light, oh my God. delicate music. I know. I, is it going to do it here? He sings here in a second. I'll show you. Oh, no, it went to a commercial. <laughs> Perfect. We don't even need to play it then. So. Okay. No, he's, uh, he's definitely got the good Cookie Monster voice going on. He's got the... Like, uh, like, oh, wake up. No, not like that. Oh, that's weird. Well, I don't know why that started playing. Yet. I'll show you. Yeah. Will, it, will he start you singing? Oh, I'll back up. The, that's a little loud. We'll back that up a little bit. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So anyway, wow. one of those bands where I'm like, I kind of like this music because I like the heavier stuff. But I'm like, I don't need to hear you sing, buddy. So, oh, so it's the voice that turned you off. It is the voice. Some, some light, light, early Sunday. Listen, exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Sunday you, morning. You wake listen, up. You, you listen to uh, like Lionel Richie. And you're yeah. easy like Sunday morning. And then Maybe you just go so. right into this. Right, sorry. Maybe some Enya. <laughs> Far and away. And then just, uh, yeah, go right into this. Okay. Okay. Let wow. me see if I can find. I'll just search for it. Uh, so yeah, you'd think of them to do a Christmas album, right? Like that seems like obvious Christmas material. Of course. Dashing through the snow. Uh, okay. Yeah, dashing. <laughs> I love Anya. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, the Jingle Bells. <laughs> yeah, they do. No, they do a little bit of. <laughs> they have a version of Jingle Bells. Okay, here's the whole. Oh, I think I was at it. Where was it? Someone was nice enough here in the comments. They put where that starts. Uh, Sledden Hill, track eight. Yes, I have, what, three or four Enya CDs, I believe. Far Who can say? Oh, yeah. So this is, this. I think, why I wanted a little bit of Mother Trucker. We don't want to get in trouble. Literally the ads. Can we just skip it? Okay. So yeah, like then okay. they do, then they then do they that do for that. a Christmas album. Maybe that just one song was just like the one thing that doesn't sound like anything. I they checked do. other ones. No, it's oh, not. Okay. No, right. nice try though. <laughs> well, cause even like here, like, uh, I think that goes to the spot. This is Frosty the Snowman. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. And they do sing here, I think. With Jimmy Durante singing. Yeah. Oh, maybe they stop. Maybe that would... 
There was one where he was singing Rudolph for sure, and it was a little bit. More, <laughs> it wasn't quite as heavy as the other one, but it was definitely there was a little. There was some some strong like bull. There was some there was some heft. Okay. Uh, to, there was some gravel to his voice. <laughs> Got a vodka and raspberry sparkling ice. There you go. That was your good choice. You've made the choice. What kind of vodka are we talking here? Is it Tito's? We have it better be Tito's. now at Trader Joe's. We have a ten times distilled vodka. Ten times distilled. It's on our flyer. It literally is taking it back to water. I know. Like, please. <laughs> uh, what do they say about it in your flyer? I don't know. You can look it up if you want. Oh. That it's crisp and it's forty four percent, and you know that it's made by a what is it called brewery in Wisconsin. I think that's just it. Literally called Trader. You can just look up the Fearless Flyer. TJ's Texas Vodka? That's no, that one came out in our that was in the last flyer. It was made in that's made in Houston. There was a rumor that it was Tito Beverages' ex wife oh. who was making Oh really? It. But that I, I think that was total hearsay. I don't drink Tito's, I use it to pour over scraps and scraps. Oh, wow. Of, wow. Okay. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's it right there. The Small oh geez. All the no flavor you expect from a premium vodka. Exactly. Yes. That very much looks like an absolute bottle. Mellow. Clean. Is it made by Absolute? No, it's made by uh, somewhere in Wisconsin. Uh, small. Or it says in the Midwest, upper Midwest. So small I'm batch sure it's vodka. Okay, ten times. Maybe Minnesota. Could be Minnesota. Minnesota too. Small There's, batch distiller in the upper Midwest is distilled from corn, making it naturally gluten free. It's vegan too, for those keeping track. What kind of animals are they using in it? <laughs> we use bacon in all of our vodka. Ooh. Uh, it's still uh, secret to the smooth flavor profile though begins with the water. Yep, the water. Well, of course, that's the only ingredient. No. That's uh, it's sourced from a natural limestone filtered aquifer. Uh, it's literally called small batch vodka. Ten times distilled. Yeah, ten times distilled. And guess what? It's a dollar per distillation. It's nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's right every every distilling do you have a seven times distilled i really don't have 10 I bucks on can me only spend that i much only money. have seven dollars yeah. plus tax i only have so much uh have you heard any reviews about it yet from your clientele no it's selling very well though it's like yeah stumbling in like yeah. Can I, have a yeah. yeah I usually drink kirkland vodka from costco it's gray goose just in a different bottle i have heard that that is uh that is gray goose we did a podcast on gray goose a long time ago way way back in the archives no, it's just audio yeah, that was just audio on aboutbeverages.com. What a huge bottle. Yeah, I just never thought, uh, like I said, I don't. There are very few vodkas that I get anything else out of that I feel like paying. Like, I think you need to pay a certain amount because, like, we did Stoli and some other right. stuff. Uh, I can really only do vodka and screwdriver. Gin, on the other hand, I know you, lo- <laughs> you love your gin, don't this you, This is Mav? why you like it. Uh, uh, yeah. Of course, I love Matt. He loves his gin. Um, yeah, I mean, I love Is that this face? <laughs> Oh, gushing. <laughs> it is gushing. Um, you have to pay above a certain amount because you, you know, don't want right. to complete garbage. But right. I think like once you get in that Tito's or like what we had, like I said, recently, which we were, uh, like I said, we were sent a bottle of it. Like I said, we did try it, but we liked it. Stuff oh, from, yeah. from Humboldt Distillery was yeah. very good. They also, Humboldt, I don't know if, like said, if you guys are able to get it. Um, you need to, uh, like I said, you can get, uh, what was it? The uh, uh, one that was uh, hemp. Infused. The Humboldt, uh, uh, Humboldt's uh, finest. Uh, finest, yeah. Humboldt's finest. Hemp actually, infused. was hemp infused. That, that one was actually very good because it was yep. kind of got into that gin territory a little bit. Gin adjacent. Yeah, it was definitely gin adjacent. You still, it, there still is something about gin that it like takes out the rest of that, you know, rubbing right. alcohol kind of thing going on in there. Right. But it was, it was very good. I will pay all I need to handle for a ten. Oh, tank, it's actually right? one of my coworkers who's like, he's like, she's like, it's really good. She's like, well, it tastes like rubbing alcohol. I'm like, why is that good? That's not good. Yeah, like you need to pay a certain, at least a certain amount. So I you think get past that. Yeah, you need to get past that, but then past you don't that. need to go up to like because we had Chopin and we had like an organic oh, vodka. You know, we had uh, the Crystal Head vodka, right. um, the Crystal Meth vodka. Yeah, oh God, no, no, it wasn't quite that bad. Yeah. Uh, the Grey Goose. We had Grey Goose. We've had uh, a couple flavored vodkas here and there. Like I said, we had the stuff from Humboldt. We had the uh, what was the Summum vodka, which was kind of on the cheaper yeah. side, but that definitely was pretty good. It's kind of that Tito's flavor profile of like pretty clean. Hey, you're making a Bloody Mary. Hey, you're making a screwdriver. Uh, something like that. Like I said, that probably works. Well, I know you guys don't go through a lot of vodka here, but next time if you do need one, if you want to try something from the store, I mean, I could pick one up and you guys can have it. <laughs> we, we, do, could do, we could do, I don't know if you'd want to do that one, but there's one that's distilled from grapes that one of my other co That one sounded interesting. Liked. You'd mentioned about the there's, grape one before. Uh, that one, yeah, we had the gin that's distilled from grapes. 
Oh, uh, this okay, is, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. That's the sorry. preeminence, uh, but then there's one. Uh, it's called Versatile Spirit. And it's uh, from Grapes. Tito, hand me a tissue. <laughs> Every time Tito's coming up. Oh, hand me a tissue. That. That's good, though. Hand me a tissue. <laughs> hand me a shot. Um, yeah, we do, we do We do. actually use, like I said, vodka. Like I said, uh, like someone, well, I mean, my, my wife likes making We have these. the sky. Well, the sky, you can get anywhere, but we have that. Actually, fairly low. on. We like have said, one called Burnett's that's out of San Francisco. We've got, we've got some of the local ones, like... Um, there's one that's made in Phoenix, I think, that we've got. I'll mm. to, I'll to, but anyways, if you, I mean, I could get you. If you, if you did, like I said, that would, if, we, if you wanted to try it for a podcast and then have the rest of it, but. Yeah, because uh, like I said, my uh, wife makes the Long Island iced teas and you need the vodka for that. It's like vodka, gin, tequila, you need, rum. It's yeah. all the whites. Yeah. All the whites. And then a little bit of soda. A little, a little, a little bit, bit of cola. Coke in there. Yes. Yeah. I think we were low on, what were we low on the other day? We were low on something the other day, and she's like, I'll just add more tequila. <laughs> Every year at our yearly meeting at the Stone Mountain Highland Games, we start passing uh, around the, the what? Quiche? I don't, know what the, I don't know what that word is. I don't know. Full of scotch around 10, it must be like a, we're talking about like some sort of gourd or something, <laughs> scotch around 10 a.m. It makes the meeting more interesting. Hell yeah, that would make the meeting more interesting. Introvert, good to see you. How's it going? How are you this evening? What are you having? Are you having anything uh, this uh, fine uh, Thursday evening? Having something to drink, having a delicious beverage. Sheep splatter. It could be a sheep Ooh. splatter. That sounds like it would have to be. It's got to be. I'm going to actually, I'm going to go like this. You're probably going to respond in time, though. I'm going to do it anyway, though. I'm going to do that. Copy. Quake. Quake. Uh... Special kind of shallow two-handled drinking cup or bowl of a type in tradition. Oh, it's a oh, Scottish. Okay. okay. Scottish Gaelic. Okay. All right. So it's a giant. Okay. So, oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those where it's got the two handles on it. You're just, gotcha. I know what that is now. Very cool. Just some coffee. Hey, that is, that is not a just some coffee. Coffee is wonderful. I would like to get, I would like to try that vodka that's distilled from coffee cherries, I think it was, or the. Remember the one I sent you to? It was called oh, Good yeah. Vodka. Yeah, you had two different ones. Where yeah. did you did you actually see those at a place, or was those articles that you were sending? Uh, it was uh, Imbibe, actually. I know. Do you still get Imbibe? I do still get Imbibe. Oh, yeah. okay. So, do you yeah. have access to their website, or is that a separate fee? Well, you can go to their website. You mean articles? Well, on their sometimes site? on their site, it's oh, like no, archi- yeah, no, like you have to I, pay I for like because sometimes they have archive stuff on yeah. there. And, okay. Yeah. All right, we have. Uh, Wait, what? Do you have anything to talk about this week? <laughs> there we go handsome pete he dances for that we need no i don't think we're i don't think there's anything worthy are you sure yeah it's about the same actually okay. it's dropped down a little bit <laughs> it's dropped down a little dropped okay down. we're struggling we're struggling to find our oh okay to find our our places there but we're we're hovering <laughs> nothing so nothing new so upper upper middling upper middling <laughs> upper yes. middling okay <laughs> upper middling. all right well we don't need to do that then all right we're nope. gonna take a quick break we're gonna go grab uh, the beer that we've been talking about all evening uh which i'm very excited for unfortunately now it's probably going to uh not be able to outkick uh, the coverage i have created of excitement uh, for this beer like i am very excited for it so i'm worried now that i've probably right. put i put too much on it in my let's, head well that's well, so that's all right so uh, hopefully it can meet up to that. But we will be right back. Stick around and uh, we will go uh, have, See you in have just a, a couple. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let me shake it up. Let me grab that beer and just give it a good shake. Wait, that's not what we're going to do. I actually saw a thing on uh, on ye old TikTok. Uh, how to like hand like if you actually have a soda that you've dropped or you've shaken up like there's you tap the can so there's that. But then like they were doing something where they literally like it was like going here and it's like you do something like this. And then they were open and it was fine. Seems a little. I saw multiple people like doing that. Okay, all right. <laughs> some it like foam. It wasn't like perfect. Like some were it kind of like foam. Can or no? Just <laughs> there was two people in the scene. Yeah, They're both guys. <laughs> oh, okay. So you shake up well, the that's can. What I'm saying. Well, wait. Which can were they shaking? Yeah. Up? You shake up your. You can. shake up your cans. No. <laughs> wow, so many references tonight. Oh man. Yeah, that is. Uh, no, but they were doing. And I like, said, I saw some people doing that. Like the first time when you see the video, you're like. I don't know about that, but then I saw people like doing that as well. They're like, "Oh, I saw this. Like, let's see if this actually works." And they do. And it's like you can tell when people edit. Like, you know, I was like, I was like, huh? And like I said, it definitely like foamed, but it didn't like shoot. Okay. Like, you know, and they're like, I used to do this, do the tap on. Yeah, that, just kind of the work. Yeah. I don't know why that works. There's probably is there a scientist in the house that can tell yeah. us why that works? Why does that work? Answer: It doesn't. 
Yeah. And it can't just be time because I never did it for, do that for very long. Right. It's kind of like, so anyway. You have to take a number two pencil and. No, I'm just kidding. I thought you were going to say you jab it in the front and then you yeah. shotgun. And you shotgun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Can you imagine shotgunning a, a beer that's like 12 oh, or 13%? <laughs> God. Oh, I don't, man. I don't know what the, I don't think this one's. For what I just read to you, I don't think it's seven and a half percent, which okay. is crazy to me. That's why I'm worried. That's I'm a, thinking with all of this flavor that we're talking about here, that it's not going to be near heavy enough that I'm looking for. <laughs> it's an imperial. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to go. <laughs> well, bearded iris would think it is. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. You put we're, this up on YouTube. Yeah. No, we do. I want this whole thing to die down. <laughs> no. Okay. As long as I don't put like yeah. tags of bearded iris right. here and there, like we'll probably be fine. <laughs> Everything we've mentioned in the podcast goes in there. Yes. Um, yeah, no, I would think from everything you were telling me that <clears throat> I would have expected to see a high number for the ABV. Not that I need to see a higher number, oh, but I just would have, I would have thought I would have seen one. Sudden Hill blended coffee stout. Okay. They made it actually with this band. Yeah, it says uh, it says okay. collaboration, and I swear I've seen them on a few. Like when I searched for this, like this wasn't the only beer, but I don't want to. We don't have to get into that, but I okay. don't think it was the other one. But yeah, their big thing is, like I said again, like this one sounded really good. Where is it? Norwegian inspired smoked farmhouse ale. It's like, ooh, that sounds good. Nice smoked beer or something. And then yeah, their whole thing. Why blending? They actually it's right on their website. Well, blending I remember is going to um, Alpine. And we stopped there. And, oh, they and would they were, do blends. They, they yeah. would do, we recommend half of this and half of that. I mean, that was, who knows, maybe that was kind of at the forefront of that. Who knows? But, um, you know, it's this time of year, too. It's, isn't that the, the release of the, the Pliny? It already came out. Uh, it's, yeah. It sold out like in like an hour or two. Damn. Well, because this they did it this year because of COVID. They didn't have anybody come to the brewery uh, other than like, so it was like actually online. You could go order and try and pick up orders. But, oh, but you, you they wouldn't, they wouldn't ship. Up. You had to go okay, and pick it up. Yeah. And I can't remember. You didn't have very long. Like maybe it was yeah. like a week they would hold. Like it wasn't like okay. a super long time. <laughs> but they had it. They actually had it in like cans. Like you could buy four packs of it is what they were doing. Since they were doing it that way. So it was the first. I just want to try it. Sometime. The first time that, yeah, I, I did just too. Try but yeah, it was within two, three hours. I think it, I remember. Because I remember thinking like, is there anybody in California? Like would I actually Can like. Can I drive? Have somebody yeah. drive and get it. The little chain of delivery there. The, yeah. <laughs> we start like handing You get it here. Everyone has to drive like two hours something like that. Have you guys ever done Dark Lord? No, tell me what that is. I don't think uh, I've heard of that. Do you know what that is? Unless we're talking about Harry Potter. Oh, Voldemort. Oh, of course we've done Voldemort. Voldemort IPA. Oh, is that from three? That's a three Floyds. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. I was wondering if that was, yeah. No, no I've, 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 I have wish. heard about that, actually. We've heard, of, we've had a lot of people talk about three Floyds brewing here uh, on the podcast come in. Uh, yeah, I'm actually yeah. looking at it right now. A demonic Russian style imperial stout brewed with coffee, Mexican vanilla, and Indian sugar. Beer defies description. Bottles available one yeah. day a year. Dark Lord Day at the brewery in Munster, Indiana. Yeah, fifteen percent. See, I, yeah, I would love to try something like that. So, if you ever happen to be in Munster, Indiana on that day, Mav, we'll work it out. That you Munster. Send oh, we'll, Munster. We'll send you something. We'll fi- we'll figure that out. Yeah, I would love to try. It. Look, they even do the wax like coating on yep. the top. I've heard a lot of good things about Three Floyds. I've not gotten to have it. I think Lucky is a huge Three Floyds fan. We just talked about that last week, first. I think, right? Yeah. Who else? Someone else came in and mentioned that too. Maybe it was, did, did Wes mention that too? Maybe not. They do a party day on the release day where they have the, in the parking lot with music. People camp out and it's a tradition that you bring us, bring six to 12 of your favorite beers to trade with other, that's, see, that's really cool. Like Stone has done something like that before too. Like when they do their, uh, like they used to do a thing where it was, you, they had a competition of home brewers like to like win. And then it's like, so you're bringing all your home oh, stuff yeah, and then other people you could good. bring other beers for trading yeah. and stuff. I've never gone, but as soon as I can justify getting away from the kids, I'm going, Damn. Well, yeah, if you go, you got to tell me about that. We gotta, we'll have to work something out. That would be that would be really cool. Very cool. I would love to try something that unique. Oh, 20 minutes. Brewers, like 20 minutes from your house. Well, Jesus, you could have pra- you could have used your delivery service to order from them. Oh, today. yeah, that's right. Yeah. I wonder have if they, your, they probably don't do that this late, have though. your Uber drinks person go there. and Uber drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's World, Uber drinks. 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Um, all right. We're right. going to record another podcast. I've got to take a few things down here. You know, <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> it's all right. You were, you were still all you, you were, all of your pain and your thought process were going into your aching back. So all you could do is barely clutch your phone. And you're like, what is the easiest buttons to hit to order some Budweiser? Yeah. 
Oh, not that. Oh, I'm not that no. desperate. You throw it down. Yeah. No one's. No one should be that desperate ever. <clears throat> I think Sweetwater does some kind of family thing uh, when we're not in a pandemic. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of cool things that happen when we're not in a pandemic. That would be nice. You don't I realize. Look, I, I mean, you do realize back. and you don't realize how cool those things are until they're not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something that'll be nice Nice to get back to at, at some point, which it sounds yeah. like maybe this year. I saw something that said April is when they're going to, like, it sounds like by April, they'll start opening it up to everybody. Okay. Like, cause they're going to, like, I know there's some local places here that are going to open up when that happens, like for, for vaccination. And cause he's, I think it was Fauci or whatever was saying, like at that point, um, like at that point, then the issue won't be, uh, you know, uh, uh, quantity or whatever, uh, supply okay. won't be supply of the vaccine. It'll just be getting everyone in for appointments and stuff okay. like that. So that's what I was hearing by April. I don't know. Have you heard anything? Like, are you getting anything anytime sooner? I haven't heard, heard or... anything okay. yet, but yeah, I, I will as <clears> soon as me. I can. What is this? Not in a pandemic you're referring to? I know it's a weird concept. It's kind of like the fifth dimension they were just talking about in an article. One less bell to answer. Is that the name of a band? Damn it. It is. I knew dimension. it. Baker will know that. Pocket probably knows that. What, what else are they the, saying? Are they in the Rock and Roll Hall Aquarius? of Fame? Aquarius? Let them. If they're in the probably rock, not. If they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of probably Fame, not, but let Maiden the sunshine in. Let the sun shine. That's the fifth. Oh, okay. I knew I had heard of that somewhere. One less bell to answer. There was a new uh, actual band, though, or a uh, thing with the article about the fifth dimension. Like, not the band. Oh, okay. But the, they, we can see the fifth, or something about the fifth dimension. If somebody thinks they can see it or something, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what the fifth dimension is. What is that, time? No, that's the fourth dimension. Fourth dimension is time, right? Fifth I dimension is just like, just, I don't know. Joseph was trying to explain it to me. <laughs> he, watched, he read the article and then was watching a thing with Neil deGrasse Tyson trying to explain like all those things. My partner has been fully vaccinated, but I'm not in the special group right now. Womp, womp. <laughs> At least you are, you are half protected. Like you should, That's right. You should feel pretty safe. Yes. You should feel pretty safe. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was interesting. Interesting science over my head. <clears throat> science. Yeah, it's poetry and motion. <clears throat> Speaking of poetry, <laughs> that was one of those things where we were both about to like go for, and we won't stop. I love that. So we've got a new brewery today to us. True, we've got uh, it's a collaboration beer, which we always love collaboration stuff. That can be good. Collaboration is with a, a musical group, which I always, uh, I love music. I love music. Perfect. Uh, we love beer. And then the interesting Perfect. thing about uh, this brewery is that the, their big claim to fame is not just brewing, but also blending. We'll get into all of that and more for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are AboutBeverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Sledden Hill um, Blended Coffee Stout from Elderpine Brewing and Blending. And it is a collaboration with the band August Burns Red. Whew, I have to go. Take you a okay? I, uh, man, that was. Do you need a minute? Oh, man. Okay. Just Hold on. We, yeah. we have go to ahead. do a little time you, lapse you, here. You we'll take, take it from here. Okay, I'll take it from take here. It. Uh, so, this is a blended coffee stout, as Keith just said. Uh, they do a very interesting ratio. They do 50% uh, an imperial oatmeal stout, and then 50% of an extra stout aged in oak barrels for 13 months. That blend is uh, then conditioned on dark Brazilian Santos coffee. Which coffee, obviously, always near and ties dear to our hearts. Us. Yes, ties into course. everything that we've done working yep. in coffee for as long as we did. And then, obviously, we love uh, oak barrels. <laughs> they're, just, they're just fun. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was very interesting. Like I said, the, if you go to their website, which we'll have a link down here in, in the comments and at our website at aboutbeverages.com, uh, it's very interesting. They're very into the blending about, like I said, making these different beers, creating these new complex flavor profiles uh, by doing these blends of things that they have brewed. Uh, and, like, again, they uh, worked with the, the band August Burns Red, which if you're watching the live show here on uh, twitch.tv slash aboutbeverages or if you're watching the uh, archive of it up on YouTube, uh, you will hear a couple little snippets because we don't want to play too we much get in you know, trouble. for DMCA stuff, but a couple little snippets uh, of their music. But this Sledden Hill is their uh, tying into their Christmas album that they did uh, at some point. So anyway, that is a super cool picture, though, on that. As you said, that's it the is. album cover, right? That is honestly. Yeah. And that okay. is honestly what when I uh, picked out this beer from our local tap and bottle, uh, that was what initially drew me to it because I was like. I was like, oh, that's a really cool picture. I'm like, wait, what is it? I'm like, oh, Imperial. And then I started reading about it. I was like, well, I've, I've got to, dare I say, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Okay. That's right. 
Uh, just yeah, just that it's just a great image there of uh, you can the tree and the sky and everything all that together. So now I'm gonna makes, gives me a little chill. Ooh, ooh. now I want to get something out of the way. Get it out of the way. Oh no, you've had this before. No, I have not had this oh, before. Okay. No, 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 I've not had this ooh, before. I didn't think so. so. ABV is seven and a half percent. So oh, initially, yeah, let's my, talk about so that. I just want to talk about this because, like I said, I I want you to know that this may already be in my head a little bit as we're tasting things. Um, that seems like a little low on the alcohol scale. It does. For something that's aged in oak barrels for 13 months and a lot of other stuff. Now, an oatmeal stout isn't necessarily high in alcohol. No, Usually they can be in not. the five. So I'm going to guess that's maybe bringing it down. So this mm. may be totally fine. Yeah. Okay, get the, that's good. That's a good call. So that may be kind of bringing it down a little bit when it comes to alcohol. But that I just wanted everyone to know that that was in my head. So, Yeah, because I, I think I was thinking this could be double digit yeah. uh, alcohol. Not that we need that, but just that's no. usually what comes along with beers of this ilk. And I'm going to be interested to see, like I said, how much the coffee comes into this as well. Like I said, this yeah. is th all three of these things that we listed sound fantastic. Yeah. And this definitely was when I poured it definitely seemed very that's, viscous. That's, yeah, and it's definitely dark, too. Yeah. Yeah, you're not, you're not seeing anything through there. Okay. Well, that's coffee. <laughs> yeah, that is that is coffee. That is coffee and sweet, like a little like vanilla, chocolate, yeah. uh, maybe even like milk and dark chocolate, maybe more toward the dark chocolate because there's maybe a little fruit in there too. That smells delicious. Yeah, it definitely leads with the coffee. That's coffee for good, for sure, yeah. which I like though. Yeah, no, it's what, especially since it's aged on that and it's a stout. So, ooh, that smells. Yeah. <laughs> that smells really good. Yeah. Okay. Phase one complete. <laughs> phase one. Yeah. Pass Get, the aroma test. Yeah. Phase two. Phase three. Delicious. Delicious. I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> Siri, what are you? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Settle down. Stop. All right. One option. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want that one option. Phase one? Yeah. Phase one? Yeah. Phase two? Phase three? I was Profits. talking about the underpants gnomes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Some people at work the other day. Like, have you seen that oh, South Park right. episode? Yeah. Phase one? Sorry. What is going on? Shut What shut, is the word that we're mouth? saying? That's <laughs> Phase one? What is it saying? Phase one? Shut up, Siri. Stop. Shut your lion stinking little mouth. Speaking of cheers, I was watching an uh, episode today, and it was the uh, one where they were making the video to try and have Woody not have to leave, and Diane oh, yeah. she's like, oh, she's like, Mr. Boyd isn't going to understand all that fancy art. He said, yeah, and he thought it was too derivative, derivative of guitar. Of guitar. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Mr. Boyd is a simple man. He's not going to understand. Don't mention it. it. Yeah. And bring a six pack. Oh, that's a different. Yeah, show. that's a different one. Uh, that we watched that one in the last six months, though. Do do you have thoughts? You thinking things? Yes. Okay. I think I'm ready. The coffee's still there. Definitely. And that's good. Everything else is kind of muted to me, or ris pulled back, I guess, to me. There's yeah. not, it really has the coffee, and, and I like it. And there's maybe a hint of that chocolate in there still, not a lot of it. A little bit of, maybe the malt is coming through in, a, in kind of a, I used this in the whiskey one, or in the Willet thing, which is, but almost like, it's kind of a grainy there's a grain sort of quality Interesting. there um but uh yeah it's it's good i it's not what i was thinking it was going to be though okay uh, for at least from the description and i and i did you know reset my expectations a little bit there i i, I like it i just not exactly uh, there's not as much as i was hoping for what do you got Saka with the raid. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> I just wanted a place to edit. I saw that. <laughs> thank you for the raid, Saku. That is super nice. Uh -huh. Sorry the alert didn't go off. We're in the middle of recording uh -huh. a podcast, but thank you so much. Chubex, good to see you. 
Chewbex or Cutebex as we all call you. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Zako, I appreciate the raid. You were super awesome. That is very, very nice. If you are not following Zaku, you should definitely be doing so. I've got so many buttons to find. Wait, wait. Oh, there. Phil there. Yep. Go follow Zaku on Twitch. You should definitely do it. He is super, super nice. He's been playing some Destiny along with this guy right here. He's been kind enough to play some Destiny with me. You should definitely, <laughs> definitely do that. Please go check him out. Yes, welcome. You've got us kind of right in the middle of our uh, podcast that we're recording on uh, Sledden Hill, which is a, um, a blended coffee stout from Elder Pine Brewing and Blending. And August Burns Red. August Burns Red, which the is band. A band. The band, which we found out know. about today. We didn't know. Maybe you Maybe know. You know. Yeah. We didn't know. Possibly, you know, who knows? But that is how important that raid was to me that I actually took the time to like, I'm going to find a stop break so that I can thank you for that. <laughs> I was so that's how much. My God, like, I, just, just I blew Andrew's mind with what I, I was said. just like waiting. Like, I, was, I was like, I was like, who is about to stop? And I was like, wait, he's asking one more question. I was like, I just need like literally like a second. No, I know. <laughs> All of a sudden I was like, I because <laughs> <Like, laughs> I had seen that pop up. <laughs> like, say something. Like, you just yell at me. I'm like, oh God, stop it. Uh, damn. All right. What's it? He's, he's <clears throat> having a stroke. See, now I get more free time to think of my opinion, though. The bonus. What do you do with that? It's, answer me! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Karen? <laughs> Karen. No one called anybody a Karen until Ray Liotta. I saw someone mention that on Twitter, you know, because everyone always refers <laughs> oh, to the Karens. And yeah, also, right. And also it was like, Ray Liotta started that trend <laughs> secretly in Goodfellas. That was $60,000, Karen. What did you do, Karen? <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> Not better than The Godfather or The Godfather Part 2, but it's very good. That's good. I mean, The Godfather 2 being the best movie ever made. I mean, please, come on. <laughs> or Godfather 1. <gasps> no! <laughs> All right, you ready for me to start talking then? Yeah, so okay. where are we... It just, you just, asked me, so okay. it'll just be me starting. Like, so don't say anything else. Okay. <laughs> like, don't ask again. Like, what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, God, what is this edit? That's all right. That should be what we should come back with. <laughs> Have you thought about anything yet? <laughs> is there anything in your thick skull? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> You've always got an opinion. <laughs> Why aren't you talking to me? <laughs> like, grab you by the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And just trying to get a break for the editing. Oh, sorry, we let him go. No. no. <laughs> uh, break dance. You have any dreams, Pee Wee? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm all alone. And I'm rolling a big donut. And I'm rolling a donut. And a snake wearing a vest. No, no, no. <laughs> I need to compose myself. I would agree with you. I think uh, most... It's most coffee that comes through. Now I'm going to start again. <laughs> most coffee. Yeah, I know. I was like, make, make. And also, I felt like Chevy Chase and Caddyshack. Um, I would agree with you. Mostly coffee is what comes through. That's really at the forefront of all the flavor here. I'm getting a little bit still. I would say the milk chocolate that I kind of got in the aroma is gone. Uh, I'm getting a little more of like toward the dark chocolate because I'm getting a little bit of like a fruit. Uh, kind of tang in the middle of my tongue. Yeah. Um, it's, it is very smooth. Um, I get it, it. I think it is, is really good. It is really well crafted. I'm enjoying it. Right. And as I talked about earlier in the podcast, I think my brain right now is saying, I want some of the other flavors that I found in the aroma. I wish those were in the taste. And in doing that, though, it probably would take it that it needs to go up another level. Right. Like with either with some alcohol or a little bit of extra heft. Um, it, it feels like, it feels like something that was, was brought down. Like I said, and maybe it was just brought down for me a little bit too much, but I think it's, I think it's really well made. I'm excited to try other things from them. Cause I like the yeah. idea of blending different flavors, different style and doing that. Like, I think that is very creative. Um, but yeah, for me on this one, I would like just, I would like just a little bit more. Uh, and like I said, again, because we got so much in the aroma, it was still coffee forward in the aroma, but other things were there. Right. Um, and I'm just getting less of the, there, there's still little hints of that. But yeah, as we sit with this a little bit, it I'm getting a oh, little. Oh, now you love it, sure. No, no, no it, it gets. It's, there's a little sweet and almost a little something that reminds me of marshmallow. Okay, just the that sweetness is a tiniest bit of that. But um, yes, it's good. Now I because it's it, not hitting vanilla; it's hitting right. just that little light sweetness, yeah. not sugar. Like, right. Yeah, I can see that. What uh, What did you pay for said beer? 
Ah, that is a great question. I'm assuming it was mildly expensive. I'll have to go look. You know what? Okay. It's right here. It's right there. There it Holy, is. I paid that much. No, wow. I honestly don't remember. I will put it right here. <laughs> like, so you can know I'd have to look. I'm guessing this is in the $6 range. I could be totally wrong. Okay. So I apologize if I'm not. I'm assuming that it was because usually when you buy these kind of blended crafted things, they usually yeah, tend it, well, to be a little bit more. For a, it's been for the aged punch. for another year then, right? Isn't yeah, over, like over a year. Like I said, yeah. half of it has been aged for over a year. And like yeah. I said, then you've also got coffee roasting involved. You've got it, another imperial stout that you've, uh, or uh, sorry, yeah, an imperial oatmeal stout on there. Actually, it's an imperial oatmeal stout. That should be a little higher now. Like So now I am even a little more surprised at the right. uh, alcohol balance there. Like I said, yeah, I just feel like it needs a little more heft. Um, which could have been a little with, I think, if a little more body had been brought to the table, a little right. more of some of those other flavors would have come out. This would have been, I think, a home run. Yeah. Uh, for me, it is just, you know, like I said, it's it's very good, very well made. Um, and I would love to try some more things from them. My expectations may have. Well, and we even said that our expectations were a little higher, probably. We brought those back a little bit. Still a good beer. But yeah, yeah. I would agree. And also, if you're interested in seeing maybe other things that we have had uh, that are uh, either lighter than this or maybe way darker than this, who knows? Who Both knows? of those options were there at aboutbeverages.com. Uh, you can find over a decade's worth of podcasts, videos, uh, recipes, all that kind of stuff. You can find it at the website. If you just want the latest videos, definitely subscribe on YouTube. We'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, we have uh, been making a nice little uh, push there and it has uh, been well received. So we appreciate it putting up a lot of content uh, as of late. Uh, if you only want the audio, totally get that. If you're on the go, hit us up on Spotify, iTunes, uh, Google Podcasts, any podcast service uh, that you listen to things on search for about beverages, you will find us. We'll be there. That's right. There are also some internet things that we do too like little social media well, type uh, stuff yeah those things that you mean like facebook that's one oh yeah, and sure. uh, i think you may even talk about instagram oh i've heard yeah, of instagram yeah, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah. but but really twitter you want to find about beverages and find out what is going on with us like when we are about to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages most thursday nights you can find that information on twitter we will let you know um when those things are about to happen andrew will let you know throughout the week what he's going to be doing what games he's going to be playing what challenges all, all that all that kind of gaming stuff i know i'm not using the exact vernacular i like but, it hey it's the know, proper but, amount but of vernacular that's <laughs> the proper vernacular <laughs> but that's uh that's where you can find all that information and keep up to date with us uh, on what we might be drinking as well and we'll be sharing that information with you on twitter but as we always say whether we like it or not you should give it a shot and that is another podcast. An Imperial Stout with only 7% well, it's, ABV. That's it's more than odd. seven, right? So it's seven and a, yeah, it's seven and a half. Which, um, which is barely. Total. Barely. Well, they, and they technically right? just call this a blended coffee stout. So okay. they're not calling it an Imperial. Okay. But half of this is an Imperial oatmeal stout, which you think, like I said, now that I was thinking about Imperial especially, a regular like regular oatmeal stout could be in the four to five percent rate. It can definitely be on the lower yeah, side. Yeah, on the lower side because it's sweeter. Imperial, yeah. though, you'd think would at least be seven to eight to begin with. And then the other thing they mix with at 50% is an extra stout aged in oak barrels for 13 months, which you think. And extra stouts, I think, are like, I know Guinness when it's for an ex. Oh, that's for an export. I'm thinking of FES for an there export. Is a, stout. Yeah, there is some weird terminology yeah. going on there. I'm like I said, I'm pulling this from Untapped. Unfortunately, they didn't have at the website, which we all have a link to, uh, to Elder Pine Brewing and blending at the at the website at our website you can find their website um they didn't have it because this is something that they you know is uh, seasonal so they didn't have any like new information on it or current information uh so i'm just going by what untapped has which is usually fairly accurate um it says extra stout aged in oak barrels for 13 months it does not give individual percentages for that both of those things i think together now that i'm really thinking about it would be above seven and a half percent so that is a little bit odd to me Seven, yeah, seven and a half. And then the it is blended overall. and uh, conditioned on dark Brazilian Santos coffee, which Brazilian coffee tends to be a little, you know, wilder, a little on the fruitier side, like at least when I think of it, just because the way it's usually roasted. Oh, Maryland. Uh, um, but uh, but they said dark, though. Oh, this is this Maryland? Maryland, yeah. Well, some bitch. <laughs> he's, in, he's here right now. Gaithersburg. I'd try it for the sepia winter scene label. I, I, I don't not recommend it. I like I, that was kind of why yeah. I, I wanted to make sure I stated that enough. Like I said, yep. it, it didn't it didn't hit yep. some of the expectations. Sips out of a Maryland mug. Oh, look at that right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't like that was why I wanted to make sure that like the quality of this beer may not have met what I was hoping for flavor wise. 
but the quality that was there makes me want to try other stuff from them. Yeah. So they're definitely yeah. a brewery now, like I said, at our local bottle shop, I will start looking for their stuff yeah. and trying oh, some I had other this things from them. I'd like to try yeah. that. Yeah. That's kind of like what we said when we were, I brought over that, uh, that Phoenix beer company IPA. We were like, it's kind of an intro IPA, but mm. we'd be interested in trying other things from them because oh, yeah. of that initial, uh, you know, what we initially tried from them. So, but yeah, Alex, I, I this is, yeah, I, it's it's I, maybe it's it's almost like one of those things where you're like, oh, this was so close to being like really good, like really good, like especially in the nose when I was smell, I was like, oh, that smell. Like I said, I was getting like I said mostly coffee. Like I, I wish that had been blended in slightly better, but like I said, that's a was a really good aroma. Like I said, we've had plenty of beers, um, and like I said, Lagunitas Willitai's stout, notwithstanding coffee stout, notwithstanding. They had another one too that was just like their Lagunitas coffee stout, and I remember that one. We did not like that one, and I've had that oh, one a yeah, couple times. Oh yeah, that was a long time. And ago. it was uh, you. We, had, we said it was old coffee. We, we did it on it a podcast. We thought the coffee kind of smelled old. It smelled like a little like just kind of yeah, just old. Like I said, old coffee smell. Um, like I said, you know that musty. Uh, like I said, you know, kind of fake chocolatey. Like I said, you kind of get some of that when coffee gets old or if it gets stale. Uh, and I have had that one since then, and I've still felt the same way. Uh, so it. Like I said, the coffee itself, like I said, smelled good. Like I said, the other aromas were in there were slightly muted in, in, in the aroma, but like I said, we're still like smelled really good. Uh, and then it was just, like I said, it, it's, it's always a bummer when you get that. Was it more of an espresso flavor or lighter? Mm, lighter. More, yeah, it's not that heavy. Definitely lighter. You definitely get, even, a, if, even it, though it's saying, that's a, it's a, yeah, probably like a dark full Brazilian. City. Even though dark Brazilian, this is probably like full city ish, maybe. City, yeah. Yeah. So like more medium roast. Uh, I would say is the aroma. Like I said, it's definitely not smoky like you'd want out of like an espresso, like a, out of a good espresso. I mean, you can do espresso out of anything. The espressos I prefer are usually a little bit darker. Yeah, I like, but I do like. I said, I'm glad that I that we had the the raid there. That gave me a chance uh, to kind of gave me a chance there. Zaku so actually saved me there. I got to get my thoughts together. I appreciate so, it. So, uh, talk to me. <laughs> I told. Um, I was like, if you could raid right around eight thirty. If you could, yes, Arizona time, time, so ten thirty Eastern. That would be um, great. That does. There is like a. It's funny. Marshmallow is kind of one of those flavors that's that's sweet, but it that's a almost like the only characteristic it brings. You know, yeah, there's like it, a little something else in there, but and that's kind of what I was getting from that. To me, I'm it's like, a really good descriptor too, because like I said, when you say vanilla, like that's really a certain thing. Right. If you say you know sugar or cotton, get like I said marshmallow, yeah. it like does occupy this weird territory where it's yeah. like. Kind of sweet, but it's kind, kind of, of like fluff. It's neutral. Yeah. Like, yeah, there is some, yeah. like, that's a really great description. Yeah. Marshmallow is more texture than Definitely like, texture. Yeah. If you're actually having a marshmallow, yes. for sure. And that's why I think it's yeah. a good descriptor though, too, because that you have to fight through all that texture to even get that little so bit of a flavor. That so that's sweet. why that hint yeah. that you were talking about, like I said, yeah, I yeah. totally agree. I really like that uh, description. So marshmallow isn't necessarily a flavor. It's an experience. It's a state of mind. It's a journey. It's, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling marshmallow. Marshmallow is a journey. <laughs> you're, har you're harsh in my marshmallow, man. <laughs> harsh in my marshmallow. You're harsh in my marshmallow. <laughs> oh, man. You're harsh in my marshmallow? I didn't even mention it earlier, but in honor of a baseball season starting in about a week, that's why I wear it. Very soon, cups. yeah. February 17th, pitchers and catchers yeah, report. A rough season. Are there now. any players still left in the Cubs? Seems like we're letting everybody go. Well, we've still got Riz. And Bryant. We, Riz, Bryant. Bias. We got uh, Contreras. We got Contreras, right? Yes. I was really not happy that we traded uh, away like after he finally had a good season. I know. Darvish. That seems super weird. Did we go to the pot? Did we get a lot of prospects for that though? We did. We got a lot of youth. We probably yes. need that. I'm just thinking of marshmallow flavor and drinks might do something like how Snapple pie had a slight suspension of something to give some texture with the flavor to recreate apple pie. Is it? Oh, wow. That is really interesting description. Swag suspension. Master MC. Thank you. <laughs> the follow that's an amazing name hope you enjoyed your iron maiden sounder a band that better be inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame very soon do you even know what the name of that song is no the trooper that's what i was going to guess okay we've had a beer called the trooper that's true we did that on the yeah, podcast at about did. beverages .com. <laughs> did we was that video probably i think so did we do the trooper is that, that up on, is the trooper up on youtube i'll have to find that out I'll look at that right now Oh, such a good album. Peace of mind. 
That's Keith's homework for this week. He's got to listen to the entire album. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when a customer made espresso with flavored coffee. Imagine that. I mean, you can do it. So the problem, and, and yeah, that's what was weird about that is like, you think like, oh, that's going to be a great idea. Like, I don't have to, you know, put extra syrup on something. Oh, in espresso. Yeah. So you're but thinking you like, sweet. you need the sweet. And then also yeah. with flavored coffee, like most of the time, it's even though it's usually artificial and natural. So you're kind of have a chemical on there. Now you're right. concentrating that chemical yeah. through that. Right. Vessel. You probably it, lose some of those higher esters that break yeah, the flavor through. It, yeah. And then you get some of the other just esters. The deer esters. Deer ester. That'd be gross. Venison. Uh, oh, it was a video. It's Let's a video. look at that. Look at that. Our old table set up. <gasps> Tasting notes. Was it a one or a zero? Let me guess. What do you say? One. one. It's a one. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Yeah. So if you want to look up. Uh, Six bucks for 17 ounces. I remember it being, I think they still make this. Yeah, I think I have Here seen it Here you go, since we too. mentioned it. There you go. If you want to watch our review from, mm-hmm. wait, when is this from? 2014. So about seven, 14. almost seven years ago. If you want to watch a seven-year-old review, see what we looked like. We were much more youthful. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Keith has always looked youthful. I've always kind of. <laughs> yeah, we look little... roughly the same. My hair is shorter and I have uh, the beard now. Yeah, that's so. true. Oh I think gosh. I like your hair better now. Like you kind of had the comb forward look there. Yes, you've that's got, what I was definitely going for. I like, for, yeah. I like, I like what you've been doing yeah, as yeah, of late. I, I don't I know if that's... Yeah, some of the videos I watch, and I'm like, ooh, that wasn't a good Is work. that a pocket influence? Because I like no, it. That's, oh, yeah, that's definitely the, I like the, it. the pocket good. influence. Although recently she did say if you want to you know, bring it back, cut your hair short, and then let it grow out again, oh. it, which I might do during the summer. What but... about the beard? Are you just going to keep keep the beard for now? I've been liking it. During the summer last year, I went... I started, I slowly went back every week. I trimmed it back a level so that it wouldn't be like a shock. Yeah. And then one level I went to almost clean and I was like, oh. Did it feel weird? It did. It felt weird. It does. Oh. I remember that one time, was it last year, two years ago, whenever I did the goatee for like a pretty long time. It was like, I actually when had it. When that was when the Cubs won the, or was it? That, that might have been. Yeah, I think it was. Like I said, I kept that going because, yeah, that was. Wow, was it that long? Was, was it that, that long? But you did it another time, I think. I've done it, that. yeah, since then for sure. Yeah. Like I said, I had done that, and I just remember, like I said, it, it getting, you know, like I said, fairly long. Um, but yeah, when I actually did finally shave it, it's so weird how it feels like. Oh my God, there's, yeah, it, yeah it's, there's a nakedness to it. Who is that guy? Lose the hair, go for a goatee, and tell everyone your darkest timeline key. Whoa! Oh my God, <laughs> you're gosh. the dark timeline key. Shave. I don't know what my actually, you know, scalp looks like. So. Some people have the good, a really good scalp when they have the, and others yeah, not I so don't much. Know. I don't know. Sometimes I, don't I, know. I, I like, you know, when I run my fingers through my hair, I'm like, ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Mine is just growing out from being smooth as a baby's bottom. Ooh, now that's my head. <laughs> Which head are we talking? Wait, wait, oh, <laughs> God, let's, let's hope for it's that one. Yeah, oh, that's uh, nice. Yeah, I always wonder what kind of head I would have. Like if I, sh- I don't need to shave my head. I actually, the, the last haircut I got, I had had so many good haircuts. This last one, not happy with it. Not happy. Um, th- this side has taken forever to kind of like, she cut it like a little shorter, a little bit higher up, and it's been sticking out like a little bit more. I've had to, and it's like oh. still, still even now when I get out of the shower, I'm like surprised like how much is still, I'm like, how is it? You didn't even go out in public though, so that's good. It's true. But I am uh, on twitch.tv slash about that's beverages true. You a are lot. Live. You gotta, that's yeah, right. people you notice get, these things. People get to see. I'm Just not wear, ha- You can wear a hat. It's true. I do when I go out on walks. Uh, like so when I take uh, when I take the poochie out on walks. I'm not happy with what the Cubs are doing. Do we have a starting lineup? Uh, well, Quintana yeah, and Chatwood both let, right. let go. The, stop me. It's the pitching that I'm a little worried about. I took that out a while back. Well, I like cutting my hair in an extreme marine cut. I know a lot of people like said definitely like said uh, you know a good high and tight is never you know never out of style. A good high and tight. But yeah, I've wondered that for a while. I was like, I wonder if Keith will ever go back to the the clean shaven. Um, it's probably out there somewhere, but you know, as it's long out as there somewhere. As long as there's just for men, that helps out too. So, <laughs> do you color your beard? It gets a little gray right here. Do you? you can see where it is right there? Do you yeah. actually put some stuff in it every uh, every few weeks? Yes. I really? A, okay. A, uh, yes, a, a professional colorist. Do you? <laughs> well, pocket. <laughs> okay. Professional enough for men. I was going to say that almost sounds racist. Yeah. Oh, I'm no, a professional no, no. color. No, you know, to color. Oh, just the beard. To work out. Yes. <laughs> like, wait, yes. what are you doing? Your face. It's no. actually also that makes me think of bad tans. We finished watching through all the friends. 
Oh, I mean, yeah. All the, and there's one toward the end where then Ross goes to one of those tanning places because everyone else is going to. Oh, he, yeah. He's and super. he keeps he keeps forgetting which way to stand. Yes, and, he get, and he winds up. Getting, they're like, he's like, I wanted a two. He's like, well, now you're a four. And then also <laughs> he goes back in to get it fixed and he gets mixed up. And he's like, well, now you're an eight. Like <laughs> he just like, yeah, it looks horrible. <laughs> those were like I it was I remembered like little bits of. The, yeah. Just don't use Gorilla Glue. Wow. Baker at the good timely call there. That's hilarious. Uh Gorilla glue for Gotta what? keep it tight. Gotta keep, gotta keep it nice and tight. <laughs> Stop that. You aren't that gray. We're about the same. See? Well, yeah. No, this is about Is a that week natural? And, Would you no, say that's No, this is about a week and a half ago we did this. So, so is that almost au naturel in this area? No, not quite. It gets right here. It gets very gray. And I've said, I've said to Pocket, I should just shave the gray parts. But then that'd look really weird. <laughs> what if you just shave the middle and then just focused on the gray? <laughs> yeah, shave everything else. <laughs> Just don't use <laughs> left my ass off. No, no. Yeah. Did you not see the, the gorilla glue thing that was uh, going around? No. Was there that? was some, it was some woman. I don't remember what it was. She like ran out of hair gel or something. It was one of those things. It's like, are you joking? And she oh my God. used gorilla glue to like try and do like a gel thing or whatever. And then she had, to, wow. did she have to go to the hospital or like somewhere to actually have them like cut it out of her hair or something? I, I don't, I couldn't even get into the whole thing. I just know the meme you're talking about. Like I said, I remember that. Yeah, I meant starting, but yeah, the the starting pitching is what's yeah. She was talking about starting. Do we have a starting pitching rotation? Obviously, it's Hendricks. Oh, she's a starting. Lineup. Obviously, we're talking yeah. Hendricks opening day. Oh, I can't believe we let uh, what's his name go too. And where did he go? Which one, Lester? Yeah, he went to the Nationals with Schwarber. Yeah, Schwarber, I'm fine with letting him Schwarber go. To be honest, like and, Schwarber, uh, like I'm fine with. Like that's one of those ones, like you have like a nostalgia for him for what he did. But I mean, his defense is like nothing. Like if we had a DH, yeah. like he'd keep Schwarber around, but please. <laughs> Which one? Like my grandfather, the last one. I had to cut my hair because my face, head, and chest were making me think of my grandfather. I never heard of Gorilla Snot. I need to look oh. that up. Oh. <laughs> Pocket came in with a... Is that hair gel? She'd be better off using... Yeah, exactly. Oh, the, yes. Than the, uh... I watched that recently, too. Uh, Brett Favre in his best performance. Yeah. Uh, so there's a competing product called Gorilla Snot that you can use to set your hair, and apparently there is market... Oh, is that how it actually oh, happened? Oh, okay. 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 I thought right. she actually grabbed it to be like stupid about it. That's in, okay, Conan. Thank you for appreciating it. Now, now all the other okay. comments yeah, make sense. sense. Okay. That sounds gross. Why would you have a competing product called Gorilla Snot? That sounds know. terrible. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, that is gross. Oh, my God. Yeah, the pitching is going to be a little suspect. I, I actually kind of like the Jock Peterson signing, but. I think that's going to be good. But who is like who is our starting? So it's 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 Hendricks, Hendricks, and then um, uh, Zach Davies, who they got in trade for the U Darvish trade. Okay, who was with the Brewers? He's he's quality. He's like a three or a four starter though. He's not a a one or a two. Um, but yeah, and then Alec Mills, he threw the no hitter last year. But and then they've they've signed a couple of like you know kind of retreads to see. See if that works out. But yeah, that's going to be a little uh, dicey. Uh, it could be a little dicey. Absolutely. But if they can just hit, that's, that's part of the problem. You know, you got Contreras, Rizzo, Baez, Bryant. You still got, you still got good offense there. Uh, but that was our problem last postseason, though, wasn't it? For a couple of like, years, the, the ti- clutch hitting, the timely hitting is with runners in scoring position. That's been tough. <clears throat> but who do we have Milken. for leadoff? Well, whoever we haven't really had a leadoff hitter. So for is this gonna be Rizzo now. again all of a sudden? Yeah. Like you just like, which was interesting. I mean, because he gets on base a lot, so it's yeah. like that part makes sense. But unfortunately, he needs to be in the no, body. Bryant of was like, who we had leadoff most of the time last year. He went with oh, the, did the he? Chris Bryant uh, experiment. Oh, that's he, yeah. That, that seems exactly. that it, seems odd. He, but he's he's actually a good pick if he can actually be productive. But he didn't have a good late year last year. So. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Moco. What what should we do next week? Next week, I don't know if I'll still have it in my possession, but when I was at Tap and Bottle, wow, I found it was a Duchess. Was it the a, chocolate cherry? In a can. 11.2 ounce can. This little, cute little can. Well, that's what the size of the and bottle is, though. So. It's a sour, and it's a, a sour. Uh, uh, sour Dutch. You can look it up as a Tap and Bottle. They probably have it. Um, so I don't know if, if I still have that. We could do that. But by that time, who knows? Maybe Pocket and I will have shared that. You never, you never know. 
Um, well, so we'll definitely do the Weller. The Weller. Since we yes. talked about that, we'll do that one. True. There was something wine wise I was thinking maybe. I know it's controversial, but I always feel like scoring more points than the opponent is key. Is. We'll talk about that later. I don't want to get into something that heavy on you stream. Play to win the game. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to get that heavy on stream, but all right. Uh, you said the Duchess? Duchess, yeah. I don't think I spelled that right. No, I did. That little can right there. Two eighty nine. Why is that cheaper? I bought one of well, because it's only like I said, it's Oh, it's is it not, not there? It's not that. It's the it's uh sour yeah. Barrel aged sour ale. So I look forward to trying that. It's the petite. blend of beer matured in different oak casts for many months. Well shit, we gotta try that. So maybe I'll get another one if we. If I was gonna say we'll see. But uh, um, all right, so we could have something like that. We could have we the could like so we'll a, have the like so we'll have the uh, Weller that we'll have next week. One of those giant jugs because that's funny. Well, that or and I, um, like I said, uh, the, oh, a wine came back that we haven't had for a while. That used to be a, a good, I thought, value Chardonnay. Okay, like what um, are we talking? It was five bucks. I don't know if it still is, but we could try that. Is it oaky it. buttery? Not what I remember. No. Well, damn it! Then. I know you're always that's called a Sauvignon buttery. Blanc. Then I know. <laughs> that's what I'm always looking for. I like, I like, I like, I like the little. Oh, if buttery. I'm going that way toward a white, like I want, yeah, I want. Uh... But yeah, we haven't done a wine in a while. We should do. We should we'll do, do some that. sort we'll of wine at, at some point. I still think that. it's some. We need to do the like fifteen dollar like. 20, 15 to twenty dollar cab, and we need to do like the fifty dollar cab. Like we need to do like a pod, like a dual podcast of that, of like trying those two things. Like, are we getting, you know, and is it worth it? Because it? it's always very much an interesting discussion. Because I think I am usually a little more apt to put out a little bit more if I get even a little bit more flavor than you are. But you kind of need to find then that. From maybe the same winery? Yeah, no, I think okay. that, yeah, right. no, so I, I agree. agree that, winery, yeah, right? a lot of times, yeah, okay. if you could find from, you know, there's a lot of those places, like, you know, the A to Z wineries or those different ones where right. it's like, here's their one that's like their right. easy go, and then here's right. the one that's like from their estate vintage. Right. Like, are you Is getting... It worth it? Yeah. yeah, I think that would be a very interesting uh, okay. podcast to do at some point, because I like, I think there's a lot of conversation that we have, because we usually disagree on that kind of stuff. Right. Um, the... I'm not saying you're cheap. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I am usually willing to, like, yeah. even for that, even if I'm like, I get just a touch more, take all my money, and just start throwing <laughs> it at the screen, like, in case, like, easy, easy, it's not that much more, it's You're, not that much yeah. better, settle down, here right. you go, take it, you just start. <laughs> <laughs> make that shit rain for that Cabernet, uh, but yeah, I would like to do something like that at, at some point, like, maybe we can figure... I'll keep I my know, eye out for that. Yeah, I don't know if that's possibility. Yeah, I don't know if that's like a total wine venture. Or maybe just looking Might up, be. like I said, looking up one of those bigger wineries that are easier to. Like, I don't want to make this difficult. Like, so right. what's one that's easy to find? Right. Like Josh or so, yeah, exactly. Joe yeah, that's actually yeah. honestly a good point. Like I said, if we could find a Josh Sellers cab that's like They're or whatever a Pinot right. or whatever they right. you know whatever we can do where we can find like here's their you know uh, like Grand said, Reserve one, Estate something yeah, like that yeah. and then here's their oh here's their like premium yeah. whatever like do you get that much more out of it right. like I said for you know I'm assuming it's going to be uh, uh, earlier vintage or something like that so alright well next week like I said we definitely kind of have short up we've got uh, like I said at least we have the maybe a beer we definitely have the whiskey have depends the bourbon, on if yeah. uh, Pocket can not drink that beer well, there has to be something else Pocket, I'm asking you. I'm sure there's other sour beers in the house. If Keith offers I that one up, have, uh, if there are other sours and Keith offers that one up, you have to say, I think Andrew wanted that one for a podcast because I know, I know you care. I can always go do buy that. another one. You won't, though. You'd be like, I didn't get to there. <laughs> Even though like 10 minutes from you, you're like, I didn't make it. It's less than 10 minutes from work. <laughs> Just order it to work. Have you I, done that yet? I have not. I've almost done that. but That would be hilarious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have Scott come in the store? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys yep, for coming. Thank in. you, everybody. From right off the bat, we had we had good participation, good conversation, and uh, and a lot of fun as always. Yeah, very much fun. Like I said, we will be back again uh, next Thursday. We are gonna. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Uh, is there anyone well, else we'll hanging be, out that we, we can be raid? Paying it forward. I would like wise? to pay it forward right here. I'm gonna see if there is. Uh, uh, like I said, because last week it was weird. It didn't. It didn't work last week. Like it kind of worked, but didn't fully work. I'm not sure why. Um, so maybe, maybe, we'll, you know, maybe we should try Jav again then since he was, uh, hanging out here and for some reason it didn't, I don't know why the raid thing didn't work as well last week. So we're going to raid Jav right now. He's playing some destiny, which I will be playing tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be a morning no, stream. Uh, or backyard evening. was saying raids were very broken last week. 
Yeah, like I said, we've tried to do it, and it was it was weird. Like I said, we hit it, and then I could not hit the raid button, so I just like let it sit, and then I think the host did go through. I think I tried hosting, and that did finally work, but it was super weird. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and raid uh, Jav right now. Like I said, and I will be playing some Destiny tomorrow. Uh, I think during the day, as far as I know, I like trying to do that. Like I said, maybe in the evening. It said zero viewers is going to whatever channel. Yeah, that's that was it then. Damn it. He didn't get the full benefit then. All right. Well, we'll try and do it right now then. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Yes. Uh, and we'll be everybody. back next Thursday with more podcasting, more beverage talk. Uh, and like I said, I will be on uh, tomorrow playing some more Destiny and having some sort of beverage. I don't know what yet. So you'll like find said, something. I will, There's something out there. Wherever there you'll are find beverages, it. Yes. I will be there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank I you, appreciate everybody. it. And we will see you next week. Have a good night. That's working this week.